bro, if you are in Vegas for more than probably two days. Yeah, 48 hours, bro. You are hours. a gangster. Yeah, 48 like, hours, bro. 48 Cause hours. Cause it's nothing. It's it, cause cause I'm when you play in Vegas or when you out in Vegas, bro, you really doing Vegas shit. Like it ain't like you going to Vegas and it's like, oh you I'm just in my hotel chilling. No, like you gonna be mm. moving the whole time. So it's like, bro, yeah, y'all, y'all some OGs. When you get out in Vegas? I got out there uh that Thursday. Mm. I was out there Wednesday, bro. My God. And I left Monday. Wednesday to Monday, well, bro. we had that time last week. <laughs> what I said, hey, Vegas won. Nah, bro. I was so ready to get on that flight. To come home, bro. What? Vegas take everything from you, though. Like, no. dignity, sleep. <laughs> Morals, bro. Hey. Nah, bro. Hey, look, <laughs> look, look. Yeah, y'all ain't come to part of this. Nah, right. but look, uh, the whole the crazy part about it is though, and I know I I would love to hear y'all talk about that. Like, bro, in Vegas, you really be thinking you got more time than you really have. Cause two o'clock in the morning, you be like, oh shit, this the same day, nigga. No, it's not. This is Saturday bro, morning. The nasty nah, shit that happened in Vegas is you coming back to your room. Like five, oh five man, thirty six. The fucking concierge boy hitting you. Good morning, nigga. You still see me in my nighttime fit? <laughs> bro, like, don't do that. Like, relax on you me, You see bro. me in this all black with the <laughs> Louis on. It's five thirty, and you know you haven't seen me yet tonight, bro. Yeah. I'm still at night. I don't care if it's morning time. Don't try me like that. Come Crazy on. part is, back home it'd be like ten in the morning. Back <laughs> yeah. home. Yeah, it's like a four hour difference. Yeah, three hours. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's so like by the time you hit your people, like I they already wait. moving though. It's <laughs> yeah. six a.m. You just got back yeah, to room. It's nine break. o'clock. They on lunch break. Yeah, they shit, already like. moving around. <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, it's crazy. nasty. It's nasty. It's a nasty man, game. Yeah, yeah, Welcome to a new episode of the trenches. Hey, hey, look, man. Look, mm-hmm. we gotta deal with some ty blowback. Oh, man. First and foremost, we definitely do. Uh, listen, don't beat us up. You know, a couple of my people was like, look, man, y'all dunking, you know, dunking on Colts and T.Y. dunked on the, like, first of all, shout out to the OG, first and foremost. For sure. Appreciate him, Thank man. You. Much love to come here and bless us with that perspective and the conversation. Great part. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's speaking on his experience. That's first and foremost. We got to understand that. Like, first and foremost, he's speaking on his perspective and what he know. Can you, you can't tell T.Y. who had an actual conversation with one of his closest friends who just so happily is a generational talent at quarterback what did or did not come from their conversation. That don't necessarily work that way. So if T.Y. and Luck says something, I'm probably going to believe that that's true. And respectfully and in front of that, an expert opinion. Like this isn't yes. just a... Yeah, yeah, not an amateur. Yeah, like God's just kind of like mm-hmm. talking yeah, about yeah. something. And then also like, to understand something, bro. It's, look, it's nothing but love. We come in here, man. We speak on our own faults. Look, we just, yeah. look, we're one big happy family, man. I don't know. I'm from a family of uh, hard truths. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how we live in my house. <laughs> one, we, just get it. we just get right into it. One thing that I did see um, on that, and I, I kind of just wanted to address a little bit of it. I, we, we don't have to go too far into it, is that... Um, I I did understand in a, in a sense. I feel like I did understand a little bit about what the fans were like saying in terms of them like not more so booing Luck's decision, but booing the aftermath. Yeah, yeah. That that yeah. to me, that's what I got from and that. I, think, I think I something that, that we, 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 we. Break that down. What you mean booing the aftermath? So I respectfully like, and I you would hope that all fans appreciate you and understand that you guys are men first. Mm-hmm. So when you make decisions on your family, the things that you have to do for your bid, for whatever it may be, you make that decision as an individual first. That's a decision that you have to make and you got to stand on that. That's straight. But knowing what comes after that and how responsible that this, that position is, it's a lot that comes, that comes with that. What I mean is, is that uh, a fan of T.Y. Hilton that understands his success knows that Andrew Luck can be 90% of him being who he's supposed to be. Yeah. LTE, respectfully, and I, I probably people ain't even meant to mention that. That Luck to Ebron, mm. I was hyped for that. Yeah, you know I was turned for that. I was turned for That's that. That's supposed to be a thing. That's supposed to happen. The team being what it's supposed to be. The 2019 team. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it was more so, I think people were upset about, not more so upset, but booing because it's like, damn. Like, yeah. I right. was... 
I was looking forward to the season that you was about to put on. Yeah, yeah. And, not upset the decision that you made. And I would just say, too, like I said, we ain't going to stay on it too longer. But yeah. two things I understand, too. They were just like, look, you can't blame the season ticket holders for the preseason uh, smoke. We already <laughs> came on this bitch and said That's preseason don't matter. They like, how you mad at people yelling uh, from the like the cheap uh, tickets? And I'm like, damn, all right, I hear what y'all saying. That's true. And yeah. today, defense, to everybody's defense, Adam Schefter is the one who like fucked it, to be honest. He the one that ruined he the whole thing. Yeah, it, yeah, because they were supposed the to do the, the press bathroom. conference. It was supposed to be done the right way right. in a way that honored luck, you know, protected the Colts and kind of ushered in at least a tough decision to the next chapter of what it was supposed to be. But for Schefter to drop that during the game while Luck was on the sideline, forced everybody's hand into the uh into that locker room situation that we had, and uh and then into uh, you know, Luck obviously having to do the press conference at a preseason game against the Bears, you know what I mean, which wasn't what he deserved and all that. So but 100%. Yeah, no, nah, it, it's nothing good. But man, we had a yeah, we got a lot to address. Uh we got a great guest for us today. First of all, let me introduce to my right NFL star. Hey. Yeah, you know I mean the one and only, man. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta turn it up. My fault. Hold on, let me, let me, let, me not, let me not turn, play with my man. Turn me up. The kid that did, man. The, the kid The one and only. The one and only, man. The K I D D. Yeah, D D. What's up, bro? How you feeling today, man? Cooling, cooling, man. Okay. I'm in the midst of all season, getting back into it, man. Getting okay. back into my tip top form. To Go do what I do best, man. That, that's what you call it. You know I'm saying the tip top form, <laughs> yeah. the form like a okay. transformer. Yeah. I just like yeah. getting to uh-huh. like a whole. Day. It's like a progression. Uh-huh. Okay, but I'm in that progression yeah. where I'm like ready. Yeah. To, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Put the suit on. About that time. Yeah. That's, that's a fact. Time. That's a fact. Man, I, well, I, wait, wait, wait. We we going we we letting this be had right now. We gonna get comments on this. What's up? So you said if there's four artists in the room, future, gonna. Drake and Thug. Thug, you said that Thug would be the first person out the room. What? No, because Tim, you know how Tim do. Let me break it down. All right, bro. All right, go ahead. Go I, ahead, said, go ahead. I said if you throw these four in the studio, Future, Drake, Gunna, Thug, Thug. they got one song. Give everybody one song, then they got to walk out. Rate the songs, then go back for two songs. I said Thug and Fall Out at like song three. We'll know that he he the weakest link. At, at, all right, Thug, pull out. You feel what I'm saying? Pause. Pull up. <laughs> thug, pull up. And then. I'm going to just, that, I'm just let this go. You keep going. You keep talking. After I'm just that, who I said, Drake, Gunner. You said. Uh, I said if it's industry wise. If it's industry. If it's industry future, and there ain't no real future, future will come had out. Future to come out. And then it'll be Gunner and Drake. And Drake. Yeah. But then. The accusations will pull a gun out. You feel what I'm saying about what he got mm. going on? Right, yeah, I know. And, stuff. and then Drake will be at the top. But I'm saying the only one that can go hit for hit with Drake for 17, 18 songs is Gunna. Gunna the only one going to hit for hit with Drake for 17, Wait, wait, wait. That's songs. covering the industry future, and... Future, are you serious? Future, future not going to occur. No, future going to hit like song like 15 Ooh. and be like, yeah, I got it, bro. But Future Ooh. can't stay She's in there. She's flat it nigga, can't even see it. Just it just depends over Future and, and Thug, you too deep in your gunner bag. When Future put together an album, it's three skips on his album. Ooh. You going, don't do it's the skip game. Right, don't do the skip game. But his shit be five. You're tripping. You're but tripping. But it be three You're skips tripping. on, on, You're tripping. on You're Future tripping. album. You're tripping. Gunner has no skip. Drake has no skips. Drake got a lot of skips. I told you. Thug have so many skips. Oh, be having, first, first of all, you tough. can't do that. Their careers are longer. If you you comparing you comparing, you comparing uh, Gunna's okay. two three albums and Future got like 16, 20 projects out. So like yeah, if you look at a uh, uh, total body, it's going to be a good amount of songs. You can make a mixtape of songs that you don't over, like. Gunna got don't over, got that much music. They all got they over got seven it. albums. All of them got over seven. No no no. Albums. no Gunna saying, don't have seven albums. Gunna got a good Gunna, six. Yeah, no, wait, count mixtapes. Like, count mixtapes. Yeah, if you yeah, count, count mixtapes, then, yeah. then Future's got at nah, least yeah, four yeah, times as much music, though. Yeah. But then he been rapping longer, so like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's tier niggas that still like Gunna, Gunna, Gunna. So do you put Gunna in a room with Future, Thug, and Drake? No, he don't even walk into that I'm room. Tripping. No, he in another part of the building. Tri- Tim, don't do it. Tim. He in another part of the <laughs> building. <laughs> he is crazy. That he can go crazy. in the room. Nobody else. He can't, can't go in that room. room. He's going to be the first. He, he might be one of the, like, first or second out. But he can go in the room. Well, you say first or second. He's not in that room. He You're can't crazy. be. He can't sit with those guys. Because of the albums? Because of the albums? What, what's, what's, the, what's the classic album that he got? 
No, no, no. But what I'm saying, the, what? but I hold on. Hit me out. Hit me out. Because I hear what you're saying, Yo. and I agree Yo. with him, him not being in the room. Yo, Z. But we were just saying in terms of hit making. In terms of hit making, all hit three making. of those guys got way bigger hits, like monster hits, like like triple, quadruple, platinum, like yeah. damn near diamond. Like Bro, some of these niggas' songs season. are like the biggest six biggest songs ever. Just because we like working out to these songs, it's just because these when these songs <laughs> drop in the club, we lit. Because guess what? We don't typically hear that shit in the club. That's true. But some of these, like them three guys, got different. We first of all don't even compare them to Drake. Let me just do that. That's not the same situation. Okay. Don't compare future. You cannot compare him to future. Bro. So let you me ask you this: Future so is probably the only person that can really bark with Drake at this point. Let's move the one, conversation. We're talking about some shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Let's uh, let's just uh, let's move some more the conversation real quick. Who makes in that four? Who makes better songs? Who makes better songs? Who makes better songs? Drake. Drake. I give him that. Drake makes Drake's better, make better, oh, what, better are songs. Are you talking about today? Like in like in February twenty 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 four? Are you yeah. talking about today? Today, February twenty twenty four. Who makes better songs? If you had to be like, hey, yo, you know what? Mm, I would much rather listen to... Is Thug out of jail? Drake, Future Gun. In this scenario, is Thug home? Thug is home. Thug is he home. beat the case? Thug is, Thug is at the crib. Understand something, too. This is nothing you're not I'm understanding. And we got to get out of this, because this, if Thug beat that case, we understand that he's stamped forever. Like, he's in a whole nother <laughs> pantheon, right? Oh, that's, no. that's a fact. Whoa, what is he... <laughs> that's a fact. As an artist. Bro. As an artist, he Thug is. has yet to put together a project, an album... That I can play through with no skips. Gonna have put out three. Uh, that's your personal preference. That's your personal preference. That's your personal preference. I'm just saying. Personal gonna personal gonna preference. Preference. All right, you know that's what? I just wanted to bring that up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The same person that's making this point is the same person that said Usher shouldn't perform at halftime. Let's Woo! get right into that. Since since, since we talking music, we talking music. Let's get right there. And look, 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 and look, look, look. let's start there. Oh and look, 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 look. Let's keep it humble and let's give it up how we need to give it up. Your turn, the kid that did. Your turn. I apologize. Thank you. That's all I want to hear. Bro. I apologize <laughs> yeah, to all, I the, know. Mm-hmm. all the people who took my stance because I, I did put that out there. Usher went crazy at the Super Bowl. You Nuts. know what I'm saying? Crazy, bro. But it was a lot of people that said it wasn't that crazy in real life. Bro. I mean, uh, on TV. I'm not on TV. asking about a bunch of, bro. On TV. The, a lot of people said it wasn't crazy You was there in, TV, person. I was there in person. Speak on that in person. And person. that shit was fire. That shit was fire. How was watching the Super Bowl in person? Not the game, the halftime performance. We don't get into the halftime the game, performance. Yeah. It's crazy in person. I've never watched the halftime performance in person. I feel like it was way crazy. A lot of the old heads said that the Purple Rain joint was the number one for Prince. Yeah, for sure. In person, because the rain started falling in mm-hmm. Florida, the rain started dropping. He dropped the Purple Rain. They said people was in tears, boohooing and shit. That's with fine, the, but with the purple lights, yeah. First of all, we are we skipping around. Let's let's start let's start at the beginning. Where you get there. I got there Wednesday. You got there Thursday. What was what was what was it like when you first got into Vegas on Thursday? Uh, I mean, it was it felt like a big party outside, indoor, wherever you was at. It just felt like a big party. Like everybody came to enjoy. It was cool. Like the um, everything they had set up for like the Super Bowl and stuff. It was fire. I was I was I was amazed with how they set Vegas up. I always I knew Vegas was going. You feel what I'm saying? No question. I knew Vegas was going to show out. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I got there. So the thing about the Super Bowl is um, it's a full week of, of events. <laughs> so obviously the team get out there Sunday. They got their big, you know, uh, they got their big conference and all that stuff that, you know, that that week. Uh, you know, because it's the same it's normal game week. You know, you talk on to media on Wednesdays or Thursdays, whatever day you talk. Yeah. Still do your whole thing. It's just the Super Bowl. So it's the biggest thing. And so, like, during the week, like, when you get there, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I ain't going to lie, like, the people that are there, people that are there to work. True. But I ain't going to hold you. I felt like Vegas was, like, swelling. Like, like and Vegas ready. is okay. already crazy. Already. But I just felt like, all right, it's people outside, and it's obviously this shit going on, but I could just tell that it was ready to go. It's ready, yeah. I ain't going to lie, like, having that shit out in Vegas was just a lot. Because Vegas, like you said, already is a lot. We go to Vegas this weekend and hit the same spot, same spot's gonna be lit. Gonna good be time, lit. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers always fail to realize if people, like, whatever event going there on, there's people that just went to Vegas just to go to Vegas too. They ain't even Not there for, for the that. Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Yep. So, like, exactly. it was just, man, it was just, you could just tell that the city was ready to blow up. I mean, it was crazy. It was events everywhere, bro. Like, mm. Hall of Famers everywhere, bro. Like, this shit was crazy, but uh, I'm trying to think. So, Wednesday I got in, um, Thursday was uh, NFL Honors. Okay. 
Yeah, man. So I, that was another That's weird. That's it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Look, it was a weird thing for me too, just because um, I didn't been to Vegas like probably five, six times at this point. That might have been my seventh. I don't even know. Yeah. And I didn't done it so many times that like I know what Vegas would come with that shit. You feel me? For sure. This was just a whole different experience, like because I was pulling up on some. On some, I don't know. It's like, I feel like you pull up to Vegas on some get lit, turn up shit, but I was pulling up on some honorable shit, like on some, like, yeah, you feel me? Going sure. to the award show, uh, being with my bro, Shorty out there with me, man. Yeah, sure. That was a good job. Red carpet. Uh, man, I'm not gonna lie. It was, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a great experience, bro. Um, just mm. being with the other nominees, um, Man, being with so many legends, bro. Like, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I probably met every. Like, it's funny. I was getting interviewed out uh, on Radio Row, and they asked me. They was like, "Man, like, who's an NFL legend or Hall of Famer that you feel like you get starstruck by?" Mm. And I was telling them, I was like, "Man, like, you know, at this point, you know, I'd have met Peyton, and then I was like, honestly, for me personally, like, yeah. Marvin Harrison was a big deal for me. Okay, he from North Philly, went to Syracuse." Coach Legend, Hall of Famer. That's hitting every you every box. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. Freeny to me is a is a big deal. Shout out to Freeney. Shout out to 9 3. For sure. Uh, first ballot Hall of Famer. Well deserved. Syracuse Legend. Congratulations. Syracuse Freeney. Legend. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, man. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Freeney. Shout out to Freeney for sure. Um Go Orange. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I was just like, man, like those guys, I mean, but we kick it with these dudes. So like so us kind of seeing on Marvin and shit they ain't really even that big deal. Like I fuck with Marvin. Shout out to Marvin Jr. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. they family at this point. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, ain't really no. Then I then I'm like waiting. Then I see like Lawrence Taylor and shit. I'm like, what? I ain't even had nothing to say to him. I'm just like, bro, like you a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> That's all I have. Like, bro, like Crazy. he look like he still like you like he still got that killer in his eyes. Like, I don't know. He probably still get off of somebody. Like it's weird because like you with your girl, like, it's like any like you trying to explain shit to your girl, she don't understand the gravity of the shit. Yeah. Like we had that, uh, we had the Super Bowl. It's halftime show. I ain't gonna lie, like, and we're gonna get into it like the section that we was in was corny. People weren't trying to stand up and dance. It was kind of lame. I, I got my ass up, but it's hard to hit my A-Town thunderclap. Yeah. And Charles Woodson sitting like right in front of me and shit. Cause I'm trying to look thorough in front of OG. You get what I'm saying? Like I can't, I can't have Charles Woodson like, who this big ass nigga in his suit dancing like, you feel yeah, me? Thunderclap. Mo moving his hips and shit That's, like that. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Man, just so many legends, man. Shout out to Antonio Gates. Shout out to the guys, man. Mm -hmm. uh, just a crazy experience. I'm not gonna lie, just probably my favorite part of the whole experience probably was just, uh, so, you know, we pull up to the NFL honors. First of all, I ain't never been to like no award show. Like, okay. Like going to like BT Awards or something. That's the only thing yeah, I can think of. The whole show, time yeah. I was there, all I thought about was the BT Awards. BT Awards. <laughs> I won't go to the BT Awards. That's probably a, a bucket list honor thing for me. Nah. I, would, I probably really prefer, to, I really probably prefer the BT Awards over the NFL honors. Right? Probably, we need this slide to the BT Awards. Probably more energy in the, in the background. Before that shut uh, down. That shit used to be hella. Too. Everybody right. used to tune in on that joint. Don't, don't uh, no, nah, for sure. Lit. So we so we pull up. We did the red carpet. Okay. We walk in. We did the you know all the interviews and stuff. So we get there. I think the award show started at six thirty. We got there like four thirty. We like, damn, what are we supposed to do? We go to the back, like in the cut. Now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see OG jersey up there. B Wags, that's big bro though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, it was dope to be able to share that experience with him. He was obviously this is the second nominee uh, for the Seahawks. So we get to the joint. It's like a little cocktail area and shit. It's like. You walk through uh, off the red carpet, you can make this right. That's kind of like where kind of everybody hanging out. It's like a big lobby, everybody in there. Okay. And then it's like this little room to the left, like enclosed off and shit. We go in that joint, it's on little bars, a bunch of different stuff. Mm. And we in there, obviously, I'm in that joint, me and Candy. We see OG back there, he there with his dad. We go in there, we post up, you know what I'm saying? We get a drink, we catching a vibe. Man, it just it just became like a who's who in that joint, bro. Like mm. everybody in that joint. Chad, uh, all the honorees, obviously, you know what I mean? From Max, Derwin James, shout out to Roquan, shout out to, yeah. you feel me? Like, we in this bitch drinking, having a good ass time, like, just music flowing, we got the food flowing. Yeah. Man, it was just, bro, it was just a, it was just a great experience, bro, to just be in that joint, just to be in the mix with the, with the, with the, with the players, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we just came a long way, man. I just, uh. Was it, um, obviously, you know, for both of y'all, man, like, how, 
how was it kind of like being, you know, in that space? And then, obviously, talking about, you know, being a teammate or playing the league is cool. But being in those situations, I think it's like a, I don't want to call it like a surreal. Is it surreal for y'all? Like, to be like, yo, yeah, nah, I'm mean, in the league. Like It's crazy because, like, is, we in that joint and it's just like, like, you feel me? Like, we, I don't know. It's like, it's different. Like, I remember, and I, I remember, like, meeting B-Wags, like, being mm-hmm. a, a a young boy training for the draft. Uh, shout out to T4. Shout out to uh, Ford Sports. We we training. Mm-hmm. And then he tell me, hey, yo, the, the pros in, in, in the day. And I'm, damn. And, you know, it's him, uh, KJ Wright, uh, Shaq Thompson. Shout out to Shaq. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Kevin Pierre Lewis. Shout out to KPL, my dog. It's a bunch of, like, you know what I'm saying? These these dudes, they playing. They, they the guys. Yeah. And, you know, they the linebackers. So, you know, you want to be accepted by the guys. So, yeah. I want, you pull up, you over there, you go holler at them. And what's your stats? Like, you good, you all, what you, what you, what, you about to get drafted? You feel me? They want to know if you nice. Now, as a player, I understand that. Yeah. You talk to young boy, I didn't know if young boy nice or not. Like, <laughs> that, let's, let's get that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, you feel me? We go through that, and it's just like, damn, you go from that to, like, Damn, now we had Walter, we had man, uh, man of the Year uh, nominees together. We on this joint together. Right. Shit. <laughs> we both might win this joint. We don't know. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, and then, you know, just from there, and then I ain't going to hold you like, we got a little linebacker click thing going on over there, man. It's like me, uh, B-Wags, Roquan, um, just in the back kicking it, talking ball, talking defense, talking mute everything. Like, yeah. it was just lit because obviously at the end of the day, I mean, look, you know what I mean? We ain't starstruck, but it's cool to just, you feel me? Like, you know, I guess just be in, be, in that, be in that space amongst just sure. greats, man. Like, great yeah. players, great men. Uh, great time, bro. Great yeah. time, man. It was just, uh, it, it was special, bro. That it was, was special. Dope. Speed, how was, how, was the, how was the experience for you, Super Bowl? Uh, it was cool. Like, like how Z was saying, like, it's just, like, at some, it's the who's who's. Okay. They in there. So, like, um, me and, like, vets and, and stuff like that, like, when I, when I, when I approach them, I really just be asking questions. I ain't gonna hold. I don't really just be into the, into the star stretch thing, I kind of just be asking them like, like at this point in your career, what was you on? Like, you know what I mean? Because of course, it's always like a thing. Like I can tell a, a, a rookie something that can help a rookie right now. You feel right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like a veteran who retired can tell somebody that's in year six, year seven, what they got. What's going what on? Yep. What's going on? So anytime you got that many vets in one spot like that, it's just, it's just, it's just smart to just take advantage of it. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But. At the end of the day, like, everybody came to celebrate. You feel what I'm saying? I look at the Super Bowl, like, going down to Vegas or whatever like that as a celebration of the NFL. NFL. Yeah, it's just, that, like, yeah. 100, 100% of Even it. Even though we got the game and shit, it's like a celebration yeah. of the NFL and, like, a, a time to connect for of everybody the year, in the honestly. NFL. It's the only time that everybody in the NFL going to be in the same spot. Like, you feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, going to, like, the events and all that, the red carpets and all that type of stuff, it just... It's just cool because you seeing like your fellow peers and you know everybody they see you like we play against each other we got the helmet on whatever we dab each other up after the game but now you get to see them outside like mm-hmm. you feel what I'm saying mm-hmm. like and you know you get to lock in and become like and get to get to know the person but Z still gonna tell them they fat and shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was I, that I, crazy? I, I, just, I just seen I, this nigga at the Super Bowl, bro. He I addressed <laughs> a couple beefs. I did. I really? Addressed, I addressed a couple of not even beefs, a couple of misunderstandings Misun- that I may have had. Okay. Miscommunications of you know different things. Lost that may in have, translation. Exactly throughout the league. First of all, <laughs> shout out to, to 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 Big Dog. Shout out to Jeffrey Simmons for sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. Yeah, that's my man. We locked in, but. I fuck with Jeffrey though. Me and Jeffrey really the same nigga. We just on the opposite sides of the war. That's really what it come down okay. to. Okay. So then yeah, definitely definitely shout out to Jeffrey. Uh yeah. I might have created a couple more beefs unintentionally. Which is fine. Uh I maintain one or two though. I ain't gonna lie. It's a For couple sure. niggas that knew not to speak to me, but we're gonna get out of that. <laughs> we don't know that we were celebrating. Yeah, man. Uh but yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I probably got some apologizing to do the like Chad, I saw Ocho Seco. And I'm like, damn, bro, like, what I got to do to get my Madden rating up? Right. Like, I got the Wendy's full for four with you one, bro. Like, right. hey, you know, I only eat at McDonald's, man. He talking about, yeah, man, I'm just like, come on, Chad. Like, yeah, yeah, no, Ocho, yeah, come on, bro. Yeah. Stop playing. Yeah, Hit that I'm button, like, bro. Yeah, bro, that's all Hit I'm that button, He bro. talking about something, I'm not, I'm not in the linebacker department. I'm like, well, point me to who leads that department. You know what I'm saying? But, Ocho line. Yeah, that's that was the cat. He tried nah, to skate through. Nah, I saw a lot. But it was, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Great dude, though. It was a good time to just yeah. kick it and, and be with everybody, bro. But I ain't going to hold you, though. Like, you feel me? Like, I gotta just 
constantly just refer to it. To, 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 you my mans? Uh-huh. That's really like a, 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 a six C versus one. <laughs> one C. Yeah, bro. Like, I, I, and for the people that don't remember <laughs> that conversation, uh, it was back a while ago. Um, I think it was soon after Speed had made Blitz Fits, I believe. Uh, oh, my God. And we were just discussing best dressed on the team and, you know, how all that would play out. So, we, you know, we clipped it here at uh, – the trenches podcast, you know, we kind of we kept clip a couple things that we feel like we need to consistently reference in this. You my man, six C. That's situation. really like a, 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 a six C versus one. Yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> basically trying to say that I was a six seed on the team hey, um, in yo. terms of dressing. Now I just want to fast forward to honors mm. and to the Super Bowl. Mm. There's a loophole here. I had that shit on, bro. I ain't going to cap. Like, I'm not even humble about it, bro. I ain't going to cap. Like. <laughs> I ain't going to. I ain't going to. I ain't going to. I ain't going to do that to hey. y'all, boy. I'm really, I'm really, honestly, when I say, look, I'm the most underrated player in the league and the most underrated dresser in the league stamped. I'm not going to lie. I'm underrated really? on both fronts, bro, because really? I'm going to keep it G, bro. Niggas ain't versatile like me, bro. Oh, my God. I'm going. giving triple doubles, it's no versatile. assist, though. It's versatile. That's, I, I, I just got lanes. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, look, it's I look, I look. I go suit ball. You feel me? I, I go, uh, you know what I mean, on the roll still just putting that shit on with the, with the casual shit. I might just... You know what I'm saying? Burberry him or however. You know what I'm saying? We'd Crew necking. Shiesty. You know what I'm saying? Then I bring home. I'm, I'm in the trenches with it. Shy steed up. I'm, you feel me? I'm giving flavors. <laughs> like, everybody ain't stepping in the diff- many different flavors like I am, bro. I really, I need you to understand that. Like, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I was best dressed probably both times, though. Amongst the league's best. All right. So, this, this, this <laughs> so is what I I'm just saying. need your rebuttal. All right. So, this is what I'm going to say. Two things. Well, you know what? Because I'm going to start with the love first because you said I never start with the love. My Duke says she seen you pop up on the TV. Yeah, appreciate it. Wasn't expecting it. Yeah. Definitely was fly. She was like, yo, no, nah, I ain't no, I ain't no bro still yeah. stuff. I said, yeah, he yeah. went crazy. Yeah, yeah. shout out to the All right, dudes. so that's that's the first one. But the second one, though, there was a loophole. What's the loophole? You had an amazing co-host standing beside you. Get the fuck out of here. Don't do that. That's corny as shit. <laughs> That's corny shit. That's hate. That's hate. That's hate. What are you talking That's about? Hate. That's hate. That's hate. He, he hate grabbed he the essence plug. He hating on me. He hating on me. And Candy was right don't there. Do First of all, don't do that. First of all, Candace. Uh, Second of all, I mean, don't do that. Don't do that. Speak on what I had on. Sauce, Speak what I had on. No, the lady do Speak on what sauce. I had on. Speak on what I had on. That's all I'm asking you. Speak on what I had on. Yeah, for sure. Your lady part of your sauce. Yeah, she for be sure. Yeah. Hey, you, 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 hey, you, you see, I, I, I bless her for sure, for sure. Both wrists yeah. with the neck. Come on, don't do me like that. Like, that's part of your definitely sauce. Stepper, for sure, but give me my credit. Nice outfit, bro. No, no, no. Hey, look, look, hold on. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, look, look, because I'm, I'm going to give it up. First of all, the turtleneck was tough. Thank you. I appreciate the F on the lapel. That mm-hmm, was tough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The pinstripe purple, mm-hmm, tough. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The cuff, Did you go Cardi? Tough. Huh? Did you go Cardi? Oh, on the wrist? Nah. The, uh, oh, I had I, nah. I, I, I had the buffs both times, but I ain't going to hold you. I ain't really want to kill him that bad. I was like, nah, I ain't feel He ain't need to. No, nah, he ain't need yeah, to. He ain't need to. Red red need carpet, to I ain't really want, want, but I had him though. Plain I, had him. I had both of them. Plain That's crazy. General. Nobody actually told me what the buffs was. From Texas, I'm thinking the buff is just your lens. Yeah, the buff. Now the buffs is the, the buff white. Is the white stick. Frame. You got yeah, yeah, a white buffalo yeah, white horn stick. stick. I had the, I had the, I had the wires. The whole time I've been wires. confused. I'm like, yeah, I'm buffed out. The whole time I ain't buffed out. I just got the Cardi's on. Yeah, the whole time you cap. Yeah. <laughs> hey, damn, y'all know I'm from Texas. I'm like, I shot. Yeah, like, no, but now I'm supposed to lace me up all on in, that, man. All in all, man. No, no, no. Respectfully, yo. All in all, man. Great fits, bro. Not, a, not enough love for me. So Zaire would do his own fit breakdown. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I appreciate it. Look, I, I ain't going to hold you. And I got to be honest with you. I was a little, I, I was like, damn, because we had a little uh, brunch uh, the day of the game. Yeah. So, I'm, you know, the brunch. And, I, and I, they give you an attire. They like business professional shit. So I'm like, all right. So I come down in a suit, the joint I wore to the game. And I saw what everybody else was wearing. A lot of people was dressed like to go to a football game. Okay. Which I'm not mad at. We about to be at the game. You want to be comfortable, to be honest with you. So I'm yeah. like, damn, I'm feeling like, am I overdressed? Like, whoops. So Candy, I don't know if, I don't, people ain't people. I posted on Valentine's Day. But she had a dress on at first, but she was kind of just like, look, I'm tired. I've been doing this all weekend. I'm about to be comfortable. She, you feel me? She okay. dressed down a little bit better. She still fly. Shout out to Candy. But 
for me, I'm like, damn, do I dress it down? Ooh, ooh. So I went upstairs and I changed. I took my okay. shit off. And I just kind of went more casual. You know, I had the gallery flares with the Louis Jackie. I said, I had that shit on. I chained up. You feel me? I'm about to, I'm still about to step now. Don't get it fucked up. You feel me? But, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm like, ah, but I'm like, damn, I'm really casual in this joint, bro. And I'm sure. like, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm about to be on TV in front of everybody. Yeah. I had to put that blue joint on, collarless. <laughs> with the sneaks, with the low, with the fair guy. Shout out to Closet Six too, man. He, he blessed Closet me with the fair Six, guys man. a couple years ago. Getting great run. Check, check, check out, out the Rod. guy. <laughs> yeah, great run. You know what I'm saying? And then you have you have, you have had grabbed something for the one time, but then it's become a staple. You yeah, like, man, yeah, these yeah, these joints. I mean, you got with the back. blue. But did you catch the the light blue? I've I been trying to tell Cam for a minute. I look good in colors though. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> put hey, some, yo, put some color hey, on me, hey, bro, and, and, and bring out the, the 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 inflection in my skin. Hey, you bro, mean? like, hey, all right, you know what I mean? all right, next, with, bro. With, with the wrist, next thing, bro. With the wrist, I don't get no next thing, bro. With the both wrists. Next the, thing, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, last one, last one. Speed with the blue, though. With the, Leo, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the blue, with the blue emeralds in my shit. I'm a chill, Leo, though. I'm a chill. I'm a chill. Next was, thing, bro. Because the blue emeralds was messing the coach. All right, I'm done. I'm done. My fault. You're right. My fault. Move on to the game. To the game, because we got our guests here. I don't want to say that. Exactly. Uh, Y'all know this Come part on. ain't about me talking about me, but I, 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 one time. You don't mind. That's cool. He ain't give me, <laughs> you don't mind. He ain't give me my flowers. I hear grow his own fucking flowers. How about that? What do you say? It's the show, and I'm the star. So, Fuck out of here. They don't yeah. understand. I'm back by popular demand. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> they got my job in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, all right. So, look, look. To the game. Yeah. Uh, weird as shit. Brian teasing me because uh, <laughs> the whole time. First of all, shout out to the production team. Shout out to Brian. Shout out to Bram. Ian, gang, gang, Joe. Gang. Shout out to the gang. Uh, shout out to Dylan. Brian teased me. He like, Zaire, you told me all year you wasn't going to go to a Super Bowl, and then I turned the TV on. The first thing I said, you at the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it is like a low-key, like a cardinal rule. Every player guy named mine, like, you a rookie. You like, yeah, you going to think it's going to the Super Bowl? Some Whatever vet you ask, you, you know, you asking your vet on the side, like, damn, nigga, go to the Hell no, nah, we don't go to that shit unless you're playing in the game. You are, right, yeah, you know, that's thorough. You know what? You're right. That's, that's thorough. You're right. Yeah, you know, I ain't never going to that shit. Like, I'm getting honored at that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you just not going to show up? Yeah, they giving bread to my foundation to show I got, like, what, what you mean? This that's for the, right. this for, for the, the kids. Shalisha's angels. Yeah, for the kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they could, you see this coat? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm done. I ain't talking about my yeah, yeah. My fault. I'm done. My fault, bro. Please. Best dress. Best dress. Uh, 2024. Uh, <laughs> Nah, but look, we go to the game. The game. Was, I would say watching the game. First of all, we watching in the suite. We in the suite watching with the other legends, other uh, nominees. Then we end up pulling up with uh, Carly and uh, the Ursays and, you know, watching it in their suite, which was mad lit. Okay. Uh, watching the game, like, we don't go to football games. Let me start there. Like, mm -hmm. so, like, going to a game is, like, a different experience. Like, watching it, like, watching motherfuckers warm up and watching, like, and just even watching the game, like, it's crazy just being able to see the whole field. You watching everything happening at once. Mm. Just, like, kind of a different experience. It was kind of cool to see. I mean, to be honest with you, like, I prefer to watch that shit on TV. But, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, because you just be missing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, mm. the commentators is a little annoying, but I don't know. It was, uh, it was, cool. It was cool to watch and see, though, just to kind of see, like, how – the momentum was actually being shifted and how it was going back and forth. I thought, you know, even though a lot of people gave a lot of flack for, like, how low scoring it was in the first half, I thought the first half was full of great football, though, in mm. my opinion. Uh, just defensive plays being made, you know, over and over again. Um, Are you, do you feel that way because it was the Super Bowl, or do you feel that way because, like, that's how football should be played? I felt that way because it was two great teams – meeting on the world's biggest stage, mm -hmm. and every person on that team showed up to play. Yeah, they did. And I think okay. there was Man, nothing else you could really ask for from a Super Bowl. I would even, I would say probably the last two Super Bowls specifically, KC versus the Eagles and now KC versus San Fran, bro, great games, bro. Mm. Like, I think that's something that's been a little under, even like the last couple handful of playoff games too. Like, well, I know earlier this, this playoff was a little different. It was a lot of blowouts, but yeah. like – when you when you get to this stage of the game, like you get all, you know, they're the only game on. It's the last game of the season. It was great to just see that back and forth from defensive plays, offensive plays. I mean, from you know forcing McCaffrey to fumble in the red zone, red zone. great play to you know Brock Purdy rolling out left, juking the shit out of the DN, final Kittle somewhere down there, thirty yards down the like that's a great play. Like you know what I'm saying, just yeah. play that the play being made on both sides of the ball by both teams. Uh, I, I I mean I thought it was a great Super Bowl and it, and it finished the way we wanted to. Um, okay, yeah, okay, it was, it was dope. I think 
based on what you were saying, like everybody coming to play, it was a whole different energy when it came to that bowl. Yeah. Motherfuckers wanted that ring, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, mm-hmm. you could you could just feel it like coming out of the tunnel, like they hold pregame, like folks was locked in, they wanted that rock. Yeah. So, but I mean, in terms of it being, well, obviously, y'all being there and seeing a lot, being able to, I feel like seeing a lot more than you would on TV. Did you feel like players were, were there some moments where you like, ah, he might be a little tense or this person might be a little nervous? So this, ah, I don't even want to do it, but early in the game, okay, me and Speed, uh, you know, I put, I was there early. I was there because I on the field, so I had, I had like a whole different deal going on. Okay, Speed got there soon. Speed got out there. I linked with Speed. You know, okay. we in the suite together watching the game uh-huh. early. Boy, Greenlaw going dead early. Federal and like as let me just say this: like coming up, like when since we was rookies, pretty much the Colts linebackers and the San Fran linebackers have always been, you know what I mean, up and down. So we've yeah. watched them, you feel me, a bunch of times. So we, I think, and just our, our rooms kind of always being constructed somewhat similarly mm. uh, from Fred to Shaq and, you know, Greenlaw to right. uh, Bobby Us, all that other stuff. Uh, you kind of can see how they operate. And, bro, I can, I've always watching them. You always know Greenlaw is that guy that sets that tone physically and intensity. Yeah, he the, he the, he the shooter. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Fred the General, <laughs> Greenlaw the assassin. Is, is, is the yeah, stu- you, you is point him in a direction, let him go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, and he was on that early. And you could yeah. tell he was setting that tone. I mean, you watch the video, even uh, Mahomes, he came off the field after a couple of plays and was like, yo, like, they've got more intensity in us. They got more intensity in us. We need to pick it up. And a lot of that was because of how Greenlaw was playing. He was geeked up. Yeah. Oh, and, well, he took before the game, but bro was out there. Bro, but the thing is, it like... It's fucked up though, cause like how how the injury end up happening, bro. Like I and bro, I don't really. It's not really much to say about it. Obviously, much love, much prayers to, to Dre, man. Big fan of y'all. I mean, I love how you play the game. So let me just start yeah. there. But you know, I never want to see another great player, especially linebacker, get hurt, especially at that big moment while you having a great game already and you mean so much to the team. It's just like that's that's a fucking tough way to go yeah, out, bro. True. Like, you know what I'm saying? You on the sideline. I know what that's like, man. Shit, me and Speed be there, especially like when you rolling. Speed, what that shit feel like when you get three tackles early? You what? what? It's about to be a <laughs> oh, y'all boys playing with me? Oh, y'all ain't game playing for me? What? <laughs> oh, y- y'all game playing with the throw ball right in front? Oh, you tripping. Yeah, you tripping. <laughs> oh, you tripping. Yeah, oh, yeah, you yeah, tripping. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, yeah. y'all like, all right, y'all like attacking right here. I'll figure something out. Yeah, I'm going to get it done. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's on. Damn. Especially you got a couple big hits on third right. down. You oh yeah, it's on. Don't let me. Don't, yeah, I'm in rhythm, nigga. I'm in rhythm. Everybody better duck. Yeah. But <laughs> the, the, I feel like all right. So I mean, kind of speak to obviously y'all seeing it, but speak to being in that space where he was because I've seen y'all do the same thing. Yeah, it's just and I let speed go too. Yeah, uh, but. I would just say it's just more so one of the things where it's like you on the you on the sideline, you turned up, you ready to yeah. go, you in the middle of a defensive battle. You know how much each of these drones matter. I know what that's like, especially I mean, just prime time games is one thing. It's a whole bunch of I don't think people understand when you on the field, you playing the game. For y'all watching it, y'all just seeing TV commercials or you know Tony mm-hmm. Romo just goes on a rant with a video. You don't I mean on the field, it's just a bunch of random ass thirty second timeouts or a bunch of random ass. You know, breaks of play. We yeah. don't know what the hell going on. So, like, yeah. I done been there on the sideline when you about to run out, and then they like, oh, wait, 30 seconds. You, oh, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. fucked up my whole, you know what I'm saying? My, my whole room. steelo. Yeah, I was about, about to run this. on this bitch, and you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, he could tell he was running them. He was like, whoa, damn, do I go? I was playing it, and that shit, oh, man. I, I just, I'm going to just say, I just speak for Fred, bro. Like, dog, like, when your dog that you out there with, bro, Get cold outside. Yeah, because I ain't gonna lie. Like, <laughs> get cold I, outside. Like, I, I think, I, I think it, it bring me back to something that JT said about uh, AR mm-hmm. when he was like, "Yo, look, it's just me and you, you in this backfield." Well, yes, sir, bro. Speed to tell you, bro. When we in it, it's just me and him. What game was that? Uh, that was Houston. On me. Oh, me. The last game, but because like we look, you make a play, I make a play. Shit, you miss a play, I miss a play. But we we working with each other, like you know what I'm saying. It's, it's like y'all, here. y'all, it's y'all two in the fox. So for I mean, obviously you with everybody, but it's y'all two and like to lose your road dog. Like 
You know what I'm saying? Speed go dumb speed. What's up? Talk to me. Hey. <laughs> speed. Right. Hey, look, you hey, are or you right. are? Like, hey. <laughs> you get to. Because me don't. Look, I love Shay Gohan. He ain't practice all week, though, bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. But no, man, you know, it's. um, That was. I'm not going to lie. I don't think the win went out of their sails, but I feel like you saw something happen to the team right after that. Yeah. 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 Speaking on that, that's like a, it's different. I don't know, I'm probably a fuck nigga for this, but like, <laughs> when I see like, if I see Z like miss a tackle, I gotta go get that nigga the fuck down. Like, it's, oh, okay. it's, just, it's just a total different thing. Like, like nah, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Like, you feel what I'm saying? It's yeah. like that with every with everybody else too, but maybe it's because Z like right next to me or whatever like that. Mm. And it just means a little bit, it just means a little bit more to me, like. You feel what I'm saying? If I see one of the linebackers or any one of the guys like miss a tackle, bro, it's just so like think of it on the other side of like, damn, now your dog ain't there. Mm. Yeah, like, you feel what I'm saying? It just take a it take like a but them but like Greenlaw and Fred they been having so much success together for, for a long time, years, like, a long time. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? A long time. So that's still in Fred's mind on the play snap. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And he's seen it happen right there. Yeah, right like, next to him, they too. They both running on the field. That's it's like, scary. It could have been, like, been you. Like, that's how you think. Like, And especially, like, bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, man, you doing all kind of prehab, uh, warm-ups. Yeah. Uh, you know, you activated. You done been on the table 45 minutes, hip mode, ankle mode, knee mode, neck mode, finger mode, chiropractor, IV, uh, <laughs> stretch. Uh, Rusty then got the so ass before the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like cool. Cold, you didn't already uh, hit your own bandit walk. Your glutes uh, activated. You get what I'm saying? Like, you didn't did all that extra. You did hold on my hands. So it was a little tight on Wednesday. So I did a couple extra hands, leg swings this, this game just to make sure my hips is loose. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I yeah. didn't already did the warm up and on the fucking run out to the field, bro. That's bullshit, gang. Oh, damn, damn that shit hurt. Uh, nah, that was, that's all about. That's what I'm it saying. It was the biggest like, disappointment for me of the whole game. Fuck everything else, but I because I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Too, sh- first of all, shout out to Fred too for continue to put on because he ended up having. A, yeah. I mean, you had no choice. Yeah. Well, I mean, but staying locked in. Man, though, like, he had a yeah. hell of a game. Now, obviously, he was already playing good. He's been playing good, but yeah. just to be able to pick up that intensity and, and be able to keep that shit rolling with what, some shit happening like that too. That's was people, that that's a, a mental thing, bro. Was that a uh, because his who was his backup? Uh, I mean, uh, I think it's not Oren Burks. It might be Oren Burks. Oren Burks. And there's four. Okay. I, I forget four five. They shot four five though. He is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came, man. He came in, man. Um, uh, man, and I thought he did. Came in and did well. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I mean, Fred, but Fred I think had, it was forty eight. They go in. Was it? Yeah, forty eight. Oren Burks. Yeah, Oren Burks. Yeah, Oren Burks, I thought, like I said, I thought he came in and made and, and made some splashes, man, for sure. So yeah, it was cool. But you know, the hey, other y'all side. How you about the uh, them moving on from the DC, the defensive coordinator? After the game. Mm. I mean, it's fucked up because I feel like he was in somewhat of a lose-lose. Like, Steve Wilkes is a great coach who had success in Carolina as an interim coach. You know, obviously helped turn them around. He did a great job there. The hire for him in San Fran was a, was a great hire at the mm-hmm. time because obviously uh, they're a proven uh, uh, defense. They've been great for you know five, six, seven years at this point. Uh, talent all over all three levels of the field. Yeah. Uh, with the coaches pretty much do a lot of times now. They go to certain spots because it seems like those are head coaching. Uh, like you get this spot, you do a good job, you become a head coach. You coaching know what I mean? Trees. It's like yeah. you know what I mean. It's kind of like a head coach launching pad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? From Robert Sale in New York to then D'Amico and, and Houston, yeah. and then, you know, Steve Wilkes after that. I mean, obviously, even in, if you watch the rest of the staff, a lot of the other guys got hired off too. But the problem is, and the difference is, a lot of people not thinking about this. So, like, all right, so the first day defensive coordinator was Robert Saleh, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. He did a great job. Uh, he was a defensive coordinator there, I think, for our first four years. I think he was there as long as Flus was. Oh, okay. Uh, so... Uh, he did a great job building that up from ground zero. You know what I'm saying? And came in with Fred and tweaked it with Bosa. They, I think they went Super Bowl with him and all that other stuff. Yeah. D'Amico was a linebackers coach. D'Amico was on that staff. Right. He had been a linebacker coach over there for some years, yeah, too. He was. I think so, when I was coming out, he was a linebackers coach. He was a linebackers coach over there when I was 
When, when nah, I was he was a he, he was a, he was no he was a no, Sanford he was a Sanford he, he was a Sanford when I came yeah. up so, yeah so okay. he was over there for a while. D'Amico was in the heart of that with Fred with Greenlaw with uh, Aziz uh, mm. Al Shahir like he built that up and and to be honest that was the strongest room on their team mm. just from a consistency base uh, in production for a while you know okay. what I mean. Uh, so for him to move up, well, so when you hire from within. For him to move up, he probably already had relationships with, with those, the Nick Bosa's, with, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying, the uh, uh, DeMondre on, at corner. He already had those relationships with those guys. It wasn't him coming in to do something new okay. uh, and, and creating those things. He already knew the culture and the philosophy. He was a part of that. So for him to come up and continue to instill that was just muscle memory. It was like repetition. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, okay. he did a great job. He's a great head coach in uh, Houston. Uh, I was actually kind of surprised he didn't get coach of the year. That's just me. But uh, even though Shane got snubbed for that, but I'm going to leave that alone. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Now, fast forward, you bring somebody else outside in, and I just think it's tough because you're pretty much asking him to maintain uh, the same, you know, philosophy and the same, you know, uh, I don't know, accountability and all the other stuff, but he's coming in and he's learning guys. He's getting to do stuff. And mm -hmm. he also has a different way of going about things. He wasn't a part of this old regime and understand how you do things. Me and Speak is, uh, can understand, like, you know, when you've been with a coordinator for five years, bro, that's how y'all do shit. Yeah. It really don't matter who the fuck running that show because yeah. at that point, the culture so instilled, this is how we play ball. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You almost coaching him. And you got to work that shit. Like, you can't even just come in and just press the stop button on what been going on already. You got to come in and be like, like, take baby steps. Unless yeah, you're going to come yeah. in there and just lose the room on some, like, yeah. it's my way or the highway type shit. Like, you feel what I'm saying? And they, already, your, and they like already number and one. They yeah. already number one. But so I don't like, see where it was, where the fault was. Because they you made it to the Super Bowl. That was my, that was Pat my question. Pat Mahomes didn't score the first yep. half of the game. That was and my then he question. come back and you take him in the OT. They did score 19 in the second half, but... Mm -hmm. You come back, you take him in the OT. It just seemed like it was a difference in philosophies. Like, you know what I mean? I think what I'm In terms to, of what? He's the DC. What do you mean by philosophies? I'm saying like Shanahan's the head coach. Okay. So with that being said, there's a certain offensive philosophy that he wants to have. Right. And he wants to say a certain defensive philosophy he wants to have. Now, certain coaches kind of do it different ways. Like when we was with Frank, when Frank first got here, okay. it was a little different because it was more so like all right, Frank handled the offense. Flus handled the defense. That's pretty much what it was. Okay. Like in a weird way, it kind of felt like Flus was the head coach of the defense. You know what I'm saying? Anything it was like he was like kind of the head of the. I mean, obviously Frank would come in and he was in charge, so he had over ranking power. But okay. it was all like under that. You know what I mean? Okay. I would say it would probably be similar with Shanahan when he had D'Amico, when he had Saleh. It was probably a lot of that just because they matched and meshed philosophy wise. Now when he brought somebody in, you basically trying to put him into a box, into a mold of a type of, you know, program and a type of philosophy that you want to continue to go. And I guess just throughout the year that they were just, they just kept, you know, not understanding. So, I, I mean, what he said was, he pretty much said it yeah. wasn't that Wilkes was bad. It was just not a good fit, which is, could be possible. But yeah, then my, my, I'm going to So what you think, like, Ed Reed, Spagnolia, they don't, like, I mean, I said Ed Reed. Andy Reed. Andy I mean, Reed. Andy. Yeah. Any reason Spagnolia? They don't like. I think Spagnolia actually runs the defense. Yeah, he side run, of the but he's also like they been can actually like be in different buildings. and yeah. come together on Sunday and everything could be cool. Yeah, but that like, but that's probably how they could run that with that yeah. type of you feel me with that type of trust with that type of uh, experience. But a lot of people do that. A lot of people got a lot of offensive head coaches have defensive. Coaches that used to defense be head bonds. coaches. Yeah, that's. I think that's the best way to go. Yeah, I think the, the, the way more way head coaches sure. you have so on the staff. Split the building in half. Like, yeah. you know I mean? yeah, that, you can't focus on what you can focus yeah. on, you got, but you got to trust the other guy to be, you know, at the end of the day, because at the end of the day, the wins and losses go on Shanahan. Yeah. So, like, at the end of the day, he probably wants somebody that at least, I don't know, it's going to be running. About, you, like, how you feel about head coaches that don't call plays? <laughs> we spot, we pot in the day. Uh, I personally, <laughs> like, all right, let me say this. You babysitting, nigga? <laughs> You good? Let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. And we're gonna we gonna get the Zay. We're gonna get the Zay tune too. We're gonna get the Zay tune too. Yeah, yeah. Let me say this. Me personally, I I don't I, I think the best head coaches shouldn't call plays. But I think you should be capable of calling plays. Huh? <laughs> let me let me explain my point. Let me explain my point. I don't I I don't I, I think as a head coach, um 
this is me. Like, if I'm becoming head coach or how I see it, like, I just think as a head coach, I just kind of like it when you, because you really the CEO, you know what I'm saying? You overseeing okay. shit. You, you really more, as a head coach, you really a culture setter, bro. Okay. Like, you're a leader. Like, you know what I mean? Obviously, you're going to have a defensive background or offensive background, and that's the side that you're going to spend your time with, but... You got to be able to put out fires in all three phases of the game. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I think to me, and then obviously people don't understand, like, game management, clock management, and just situational football is a skill and a a, a mentality that you got to have going at all times. And sometimes when you play calling, like, it's hard to be great at both. Some can do it. I mean, those are the greats, but it's just like – Sometimes it's just it's situationally certain things may slip unless, you know, you got a good situational guy or whatever because there's people who have, we, like, we got people just on staff just for situational stuff. But at the end of the day, the head coach got made the call. But me personally, I think I like when a head coach is not a play caller. Now, that being said, you have to be able to call plays because the problem is when you're not a play caller, you're going to consistently lose your play caller. So, sure. for example, like uh, Sirianni, like Sirianni, I think he split duties with Frank when he was here as when he was the offensive coordinator. He split duties. When he went to the Eagles early on, he was a play caller. Um, then he ended up passing that off to Shane. It's crazy how coaching tree works. For sure. And then uh, you know, the whole, you know, debacle that he had this year, however that shook out. Um, but Sirianni has called plays before. Okay. And you have to do that because if you once you pass that off to your next guy, Shane, guess what? That motherfucker's successful, he's going to become a head coach. For sure. Yeah. So, like, that becomes a launching pad. But, and I think that's what comes down to it. Like, a lot of these great teams, how they – sometimes the success don't maintain. Sometimes uh, the, the dynasties are short-lived because, yeah, you, 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 you price out with a lot of these players – yeah, you you know, guys get hurt or get older, but people don't underestimate, bro. You lost your whole staff. You yeah. know, that D-line coach that you had was great. He a D coordinator over there in Buffalo somewhere now. Or, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? The receiver coach that you had that was really getting the young boys right on their numbers and their details. Guess what? He an officer coordinator somewhere now. Or, you know what I mean? The officer coordinator that you had, he's a head coach now. And he took two or three. You got, like, shit like that be happening. And that's what makes it so hard to maintain. That's why I feel like you got to be able to call plays. But I do think it's power in just being able to handle the situation. In that point, though, I, f- I feel like, and p- like, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like you, which, great explanation of it, but I feel like you're simpl- you simplifying consistency in terms of play calling. Because you have to, at, at a point, you have to understand rhythm of what it is that you're doing. Yeah, it's situational. You, you know what I'm great saying? Yeah, like, you got you to gotta be able to feel that, that's though. I noticed that when, uh, I noticed that when Stocky got here. What? How good he has a has feel to for situations. Yeah, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Steigen is a situational, yeah. like, yes. he completes situations. Like, mm-hmm. he already planning on being in a certain situation in the game. Right, but uh, like, but, Shane, but Shane's a play caller. Yeah, he is, but I'm saying, you were saying. You're simple, what I mean by that, it's yeah. like, you're simple, you're simplifying the consistency of if a, a coach is not a play caller, but I still want him to be able to have that ability Bro, it's a guy that's up that's been upstairs for ten weeks. Oh, just telling them. And what he's, he's cons- no, no, but he's cons- and he's consistently knowing what the tendency is. He ain't just really looking at oh, it's the second quarter, um, third quarter, two minute drive. It's second and seven. We need a first down. Nah, bro, the league's so crazy, bro. I don't. You got a guy that tells you the percentage of how many times analytics. somebody has. Yeah, the analytics. You got them, someone telling you the percentage of how many times teams in the NFL in the last two to three years have converted this situation that you're in. So it'll say, in this situation, they ran the ball in a percentage of 75 completion. In, the, in, in this situation, they passed the ball and it was only 40% completion. And then now the coach has to go to his place and be like, all right, do I take the 75 or the 40% or do I just go off my natural gut? You feel what I'm saying? And then that, and th- to that point, and because uh, I agree, I agree that you you need to be able to do that. But Z, in that, I'm hearing when you say that a coach should, needs to be able to have that ability, that more so he needs to be able to understand what's happening with the entire team, not be able to make a conscious decision about a probability. Those are two different. I feel like those are two different things. Uh, I understand what you're saying, but I think the the uh, 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 f- detail that you're missing is okay. regardless whether you like, let's use Shanahan for example. Even though uh, you know he calls the plays on offense, 
he has input on the play calls on yeah. the defensive side. Like, if you're the head coach, you got input on both. in everything. Yeah, okay. On head, special okay. teams. Yeah. Nah, yeah. kick that out of bounds. We ain't doing that. You know, how many times we done been uh, Bubba, man, Frank, 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 won, or he like, man, yeah, look, Frank letting us k- keep it in. Look, y'all got to make me right. Up. Don't yeah. mess this up. Yeah. Look, Frank betting on us. Come on, let's go. We got to go get That's why I fuck yeah. with Bubba, though. But, Bubba. yeah, so, like, it'd it be much different times or like you feel me or like it's times where like you said situational like the head coach yeah. is in, in, important to know situational situationally a lot of times uh, you know like you know me dealing with Gus he, he like hey look you know we up a big league coach doesn't want you know us playing you know more you know tighter coverage he wants us to play us a little further back that's why I'm calling you know cover four or whatever the fuck we end up playing or whatever the situation may be All right. because the head coach dictated in this situation, this is what I want y'all to do. Okay. You know what I mean? So it's like, as a mm. head coach, you got influence on everything. Now, all I'm saying is, at a cer- certain point, I think, you know, as the, as your staff grows and as that all, obviously all progresses, because at the same time, it's like, all right, you are still thinking about it like this. Like, for let's use Shane and Nick Sirianni. Sirianni was a play caller. He came in. He obviously had some weapons. He had Jalen and stuff like that, too. And Sirianni got that job by being, a, a you know, a, a good enough play caller. You know what I'm saying? I think him and Frank yeah. used to split it. Yeah. So, yeah, as I think him and Shane at first had a similar situation because Frank had that situation with Doug Peterson where mm-hmm. they used to, excuse me, split the play calls. They, you know, Frank would call one half. Doug Peterson would call the other half right. or – uh, I think, you know, and Doug Peterson, all, all these motherfuckers come from Andy Reid coaching tree. I need you to really understand that. Andy, Reed, Andy. Yeah, Andy Reid really wanted the goats. Mm. But uh, at a certain point, if you got a young star on your staff, like Shane Steichen or uh, who are like uh, a couple of these other guys that came out, like Brian Collin, he head coach of the Titans now, these guys yeah. that kind of came up, bro, you got to low-key step out the way, bro, and let that young boy cook. Yeah. Because guess what? Like if he got it and he got the like, don't be prideful about that. And you got it. Like, it's, that's just anything. You step out the way you let him go. Yeah. And then, look, it's either you going to find another play caller or guess what? You're going to have to retake over the play calling duties until you find somebody that you feel comfortable enough to put in that situation. Bro, it's so many caveats to winning a Super Bowl, bro. Bro, it's so hard, because it, bro. Because it's like, all right, now you got coaches that can leave and go be better. You usually yeah. losing your young star. But at the same time, you got players that leave and go on to better opportunities and yeah. injuries and all this type stuff. So, like, when you got it, bro. You got to make that shit. Like, when you got the whole package, dog, you got to go make it happen because you might not never get this again. Understood. For the Understood. next 10 years, like, you might retire, like, as a player, like, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You might not be, be on the squad next year. You might find better money, better this and that and that. The the dog you playing next to, the safety you trust so well, he might find different, all that. Might get so hurt. Like, when you got somebody, like, bro, we went through so much of that, bro. Yeah. Or the, tell them, Speed, you might have a team. Y'all might get hot too early and cool off. Y'all might be slumping at the wrong time. Yeah. Somebody might get hurt the wrong time. Like, and it ain't even just the players. It could be, like, the young, the young, the young, the young, um, the young dude, the, the young officer coordinator's assistant or something that helped him be who he was, mm-hmm. had a family issue. Yeah, yeah. Now he stepped and he away. he stepped away. Yeah, now we in two the weeks yeah, and it's affecting yeah, us like for yeah, two weeks. Like, yeah. it's that small, bro. It's like a yeah. drop of oil, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it's that small, like something that can like shift the season into like something bad. Like, yeah. I Like I said, you know, I don't want to go jump too far back in the conversation, but to Speed's point, I did want to ask about that, is that how, with the with the coach being fired, obviously, like, right after the game, don't, not too much on that, but he had a really successful defense, though, bro. He did, bro. But he inherited a successful defense. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm going to say. What you, what you tell me about that all the time? What? What you say about that all the time? Can't oh, you, can't, you, can't, you gotta make talent look like talent? You gotta make it look good, bro. For sure. He got to the final game. He's a game. great coach, though. But, he got, but coach. I'm saying he got to the final game, and then you got you got clip. But this is what I'm gonna say about that is, and my only point to that is, is like cool. whether it's right, cool. wrong, or we agree with it or not. Okay. The same way the Bucks fired their head coach, and they was number one in the East, and he was supposed to coach at the All-Star game. Right, wrong? They got a different level of, uh, you know, a talent or expectancy. Like, for them, maybe that maybe they're, I don't know, maybe whether it's fair or not fair, it's just yeah, yeah. they yeah. might have looked at, you know, whether whatever the production it was or whatever it was, and they might have said it wasn't up to their standard. I'm not saying it was right or wrong. Now, I do think it was kind of crazy. They didn't make the Super Bowl, but... That's not for us to decide. That's their organization. The organization. He's a good enough That's coach. He's going to get another opportunity. Now, while it's tough that they did that after the Super Bowl, now there's no real de- defensive coordinator jobs available. 
that's hard. But I mean, that coaching shit is different though, bro. Yeah, yeah. How that's y'all feel about um, the comment about uh, Belichick? That was it, Marlon. Oh, uh, Marlon Humphrey. Yeah, that Marlon Humphrey made about Belichick. He was. I mean, basically, it was. I don't think he was. He was ill intent. I think it was just always. A, he was. He was ill intent, bro. Let me say why I don't think it was ill intent. I'm gonna say I don't think it's ill intent because Tom Brady had already jumped on air and had the conversation. You feel what I'm saying? Tom Brady had the conversation. You're talking about, about you're talking about in terms of why Belichick didn't get another job. Yeah, like t- not not he didn't have a conversation about why Belichick didn't get another job. He talked about everybody, like even a former teammates was like, nah, like Edelman. He said we went to work, we played for Tom, but we went to work for Belichick. Yeah. Okay. Like you feel it's what I'm supposed saying? to be like that though. So it was just a little debate. Like it was it was just a debate with greats. Like, all right, um, was it the coach or was it Tom Brady or whatever like that? So when this came out, then he was just like, ah, let's just kill the let's I think he went about it the wrong way. Mm-hmm. Like, but I think he was just saying, all right, let's just kill the debate that everybody been having. It was because of Tom Brady or whatever like that. Because he didn't get the and the reason for him saying that was because he didn't get the job. I think it was wrong. To even talk about a man not getting a job or whatever like that, because yeah. you know that's a sensitive t- like. But I mean, I mean, I think. But like, I understand what he was saying though. Like, I understand what he was saying. He just should have said it a different way. He should have made it clear that he was talking about the debate or whatever like that. He shouldn't okay. even said nothing about getting fired. Yeah. He should have just said his his cue. Like, all right, if if Belichick doesn't get a job, does this mean? And then just open discussion if he wanted to have that. Yeah. He was just too like straightforward and blunt with the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. But he decision. do that a lot on social. That's I, appreci- his, that's I appreciate. I, I appreciate the bluntness though. Don't don't yeah, don't, don't, don't rock and hide your hand. But yeah, I mean, but I think you got it. I do in that. And to your point, speed on that, it should have been an open ended topic. Yeah, it I think it should have been something that everybody sure. could have an opinion That's on. That's not what like, he was saying, saying, though. I think you putting more sauce on it than he ever said. He just basically, that was his chance to come in and say, because he said that before. That's not the first time he yeah. didn't pretty much question the greatness of the But that was in the middle of the debate. But my only yeah. thing about it is, is, it's like you said, it's so much nuances to making a Super Bowl. You don't just hire Bill Belichick. Like, that's a different situation. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just like... How are you looking at that, though? Because it's just a lot that comes with him. Like, you get what I'm saying? There's a lot of... Right. He is going to ch- completely rechange the, the your culture whole, your whole and, the, and the way that your, your organization is run. A yes. lot of people aren't ready for that. Or looking for that. A lot of people are looking to hire a head coach. They're not looking to hire somebody that's going to work directly with the owner, basically kick out the GM. Be, he going to be head coach, GM... Uh, defensive coordinator, like everybody, think, not looking for that. I think that needs to be specified. Then, what I, you mean? I honestly, think that needs to be specified. Is in terms of Bill Belichick, is it be? And I, obviously, in a perfect world, but you would like to see or have more understanding of why Belichick is not being hired more so than him just being put into the into the pool of coaches that just don't get fired. Why do you need that explanation, though? That's what I'm trying to say. Hear me out. Hear hear what I'm saying to you. And this goes to what Speed's point was talking about, which is why I agree with him. In terms of, was it Tom Brady? Yes. But Tom Brady didn't start the Patriot way. No. Belichick was one of the... Is the is he the actually benefited corner. from it for the first few years. Nobody wanted to talk about I'm that. Saying that but I'm saying he's the cornerstone of that. Yeah, he's the so pro- when best you, example for it. Right. So what I'm saying to you is, is that it, when you have a guy like Bill Belichick that's just not getting a job, it's like, it ain't like Belichick just ain't getting hired. Like, is he, not, he's not getting hired because... He is that much of a savant, that much of yeah, a. It's, it's, it's the same. It's the same thing as like why every team in the league, as much as it sounds like it would make sense, every team in the NBA don't want LeBron on their team because it's a lot that come with that. That's true. LeBron coming, he needs input on a whole lot of shit. Yeah. He gonna do a whole lot of different things. You might not, as a coach, y'all might not be ready for that. Like, y'all might not be looking for that. Like, that might not be what y'all trying to build towards. Now, while there may be a a, a, a number, it's just like anything. I, 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 what I think people don't really understand about the NFL, and I think Speed, me and Speed and talked about this before, like, best example is free agency, bro. When you're going into free agency, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, all the, everybody that's out there going to free agency, uh, first of all, shout out to y'all. Good luck. Get paid. Don't 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 uh omit a penny, nigga. Go for it. Yeah, <laughs> if you gotta bet on yourself, bet on yourself. That, you know what I mean? That's the side I'm on. But speed, keep it p, keep it p. You go on the fridge, you like right around this time. You know, combine coming up. That's when mm-hmm. a lot of shit going on. You know, around this time, you meet with your agent. 
y'all looking at y'all numbers. Look, man, you know, look, they they putting you in this pool. You you kind of these are some comparables. This is what a guy who had your production. This is what he got paid last year by so and so and so forth. Okay. All right, back cool. Oh yeah, you said that's how many year? Ooh, that, 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 nigga, fuck, nigga. Where that year is at? <laughs> hey, speed. Hey, come, put uh, put so on the uh, hey Mula. <laughs> What, yeah, hey, Mula, what you, got the, you got the new uh, <laughs> Not with the big boys <laughs> Yeah, boys. no, not the little ones yeah. yeah, go to the back Did oh, you yeah, walk to the yeah. back? And, and look, it's, I know you ain't at that case Spit shine my shit <laughs> I too I, ain't, I want my shit to sparkle I, I got a like that, that case. Gucci main in the club Yeah, yeah. yeah. man, stay on Stay locked <laughs> in So man. look, that's how I feel oh, Then you look I'm telling you You go to free agency You like, ooh, look What? Oh, yeah, they need a linebacker Oh, yeah, they need a linebacker Oh, sh- they got two all pros. No, no, they don't, they don't need no linebacker. <laughs> they don't need no linebacker. All right. Now they need a linebacker. All right, cool. You be like, damn, it's a, look, it's about 14 teams that need a linebacker. Like, damn, like, I fit the scheme about seven of these niggas. I'm okay. cool with like three or four of these head coaches. That is lit. <laughs> Speed, what happened? You get the free agency? What? Three teams. I'll call you. Hold three. on. Three. And one of them niggas wants you to play special teams. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh buddy. On. That shit a rap. Did that for four years, dog. Hold on, dog. bro. Yeah, some of these, some of these, see, on, yeah, guys. look, man, yeah, look, I saw that you had this type of production, but yeah, honestly, I only yeah, see you yeah. as a special teamer. Yeah, well, they shit on you. Well, I don't see you at all. How about that? <laughs> That's really crazy. I'm, it's just, you would think, you would think, yeah, or it's They your agent hitting you, you like, hold on, let me talk to him. Nah, let me. <laughs> right. nah, let me. Look, I'm telling you, you go to free agency and you think like, all right, bet, cool. Like, you think it's like uh, recruiting again. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got some teams going to offer, you got some teams that's going to recruit you. You think it's shit like, like mad and you going to go there and just be able to pick a bunch of teams. But the reality is, bro, it's probably like, bro, I ain't going to lie to you too. Like, even talking to, uh, shout out to Drew, shout out to Rosenhaus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I was dealing with talking with him, he, he even gave me a little insight to even Tyreek's situation. Tyreek Hill, one of the best players that ever played this game, the most explosive weapon in the NFL. Yeah. He only had a market of two teams outside yeah. of Kansas City. Yeah. It's a lot that come with having Tyreek on your team. You bring him on, he's got to be the highest played weapon in the league. Everybody can't do that. I hear you. I Everybody hear you. also I don't got you, the man. offensive structure with the capabilities and the to mentality have. to be able to use Tyreek. You want to use you pay him nigga, nigga, $30 million a year? And, and, and you know, and look, Tyreek come in, Cheetah, he right. bring a lot of shit with him. That's a lot of that's a lot of entertainment. That's a lot of, you know what I mean? He bring a lot, but th- that's why some of it, you feel me? You know, he got a lot of off the field stuff like, Positive stuff yeah, like yeah, no, podcasts yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and I we ain't talking about none of the other shit. Yeah. But at the same time, he he bringing a different mentality. You got to be a have a locker room that's capable of dealing with that, or mm-hmm. organization that's capable of dealing with that. Just because there's necessarily openness, don't mean that opening is specifically for you or I, for that situation. Understand that the two examples that you gave that you gave to me, which are one great examples in terms of Belichick, the narrative for those two are exactly what you're saying. For Belichick, it's not that. But that's, it's that he's not getting hired. But that's but understand something though. That's because people hate greatness. But no, 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 no. It I is. I can't let it's you. No, I can't let you. People hate greatness, bro. Trust me, people. People have been waiting the whole time just to see Belichick fail. But I'm not mad at that. He was okay. a super villain in the league for a long, long time. time. You you can't wait for Lex Luke to run think, out of money. I just think, you I just, know what I'm saying? I just okay. think with Belichick whole situation. It's a new generation, bro. It goes the same way with the Nick Saban thing. Like when Nick Saban retired. And I, I don't know why Nick Saban retired, so don't quote me on why he retired. But I feel like the generation is just a new generation, a way of, 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 of what, the, what the game is shifting towards. That's understood. You feel what I'm saying? And it has nothing to do with him not having success after, after, uh, after Tom Brady. Or right. whatever like that. I don't think it has nothing to do with that. I don't think they was like, oh, maybe it was Tom Brady the whole time. We should get rid of Belichick. I don't think that was the that was the case. Cause actually Trent Trent Brown, um, he played left tackle out there and he speak highly of Belichick. A yeah. lot of, a lot of people, people do, do. He speak highly a lot of, Belichick, of people do. bro. And he think that he like he he actually he had options. He went back to New England. His yeah. whole like, staff bro. is full of former players. So yeah. people come back and work for Bill. And so they like as much as people hate that shit, there's a lot so, of people that love it. And I, I just think his way, his way of his of coaching just it just the Patriots was like, look, bro, we just we they, they needed a new culture. Yeah, we have been there a long time. Like, but cool. to your point, bro, people can't wait to see successful people fail, bro. But that That's culture don't is, match. Bro. That culture don't match a lot of teams, bro. Yeah, but no. Uh, what Belichick brings, like, that's why Belichick was in New England for so long. Yeah. Like, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? Because New England bought into that culture and they had success. They won Super Bowls with it. Yeah. But you feel what I'm saying? I just think, to your, uh, like I said, I'm a, I agree with y'all 100%. All I'm saying to you is that, I believe that the narrative around 
why Bill Belichick is is or isn't getting hired is not being talked about. Like, it's just, it's almost like I say, like, Belichick is, he's, I feel like he's just being talked about as he's in the position of a first-year guy trying to, trying to uh, apply or uh, try so to get a job. Oh, so you think they lowball, you think they, they, they like, they talking, not, like, he not Belichick. Yeah, like, they're not even talking about, hey, look, we're not hiring Belichick because of, like, we talking well, about with LeBron. Because of the narrative. And, and, Ty, and with Tyree. Because of the narrative. That's what I'm saying. What you mean, though? Well, when, like, you just explained with LeBron and Tyreek. Like, it's like, bro. Bron can't go to woom 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 because of this. Like, but it's teams and, that's gonna take Bron. Right, that's what I'm he's saying. He's saying to you. it's teams that's gonna take Bron. It's teams that's if Tyreek went to Ramsey right now, it's teams that's gonna take Tyreek yeah. regardless. He's saying it's not the same with Belichick. He's saying like it's teams that won't even touch Belichick. Why is that? Like, right, and they're saying? not. And the narrative isn't coming out of like, hey, you know what? Bill is a great coach, but we cannot allow that type of situation to happen in our organization. Bro, I would say I would say it like this. Imagine it's more like a. It's just I would say it's just a changing of general philosophy. Like all the head coaches okay. getting hired now mm-hmm. are young. Every okay. year we see yeah, oh is. the youngest head coach since the these, these guys are all 37, 38, 39. Like Belichick is in his seventies, bro. Like you get what I'm saying? Like I get you're that. not going out. Like a lot of people like they looking for new blood, new energy to deal with the new league. Like you get what I'm saying? So it's mm-hmm. like. Again, that's something that comes with hiring somebody like Belichick. So I feel like we pretty much saying the same thing. I just think, like, why you feel like the narrative or why the narrative may not be, like, trending in the, in the, uh, the fanfare around Belichick not getting hired might not be as big. But I'm just telling you, as internally, it's because people understand that hiring a great like Belichick comes with a lot of shit and a lot of people just not in that position more like to address it yeah and then especially in a situation like that like even and and what people really don't understand is Belichick might have turned down a job they don't never tell you that though they don't never tell you because it's not like he didn't have interviews he had interviews interviews. so like you never know how that went he might have turned down interviews might have turned down jobs because when you got six rings and the credibility that he got you could pick and choose your shot and he might feel like he might not have a shot that's worthy of him taking so why is so I'm, I'm about to ask the question I think Tim was asking. We got to let, let Zay go, man. We, on, we went on. over here pod. We got to so, let Zay go. So why, why is it that, like, the media, like, ESPN, everybody is just saying, like, why doesn't Belichick, like, why they not fending for Belichick? Like, why Thank they not, you. like, because why people hate Belichick greatness. That's but why that's not a part of that, though. That's not a part of that. That's not a part of that. Bro, LeBron James. And people hate, hate LeBron. LeBron. But they give him the narrative. What of narrative? He, he, they give him the narrative yeah, that he has a lot that comes with him. Not that oh we just don't want LeBron. They're they're not even giving Belichick. Bro, they did the same thing to Tom Brady. People always forget history. When Tom Brady got picked, when he went to free agency again, Tom Brady, the greatest player, the greatest player too, because I stand on that, the greatest number one. Okay, of our of of, of the game when he went to free agency. His market was only like two two teams. San Fran told him we don't want you. Period. Outright. Right. Right, they chose Jimmy Garoppolo over Tom Brady. But they, uh, but the narrative from the me- like Speed's talking about with the media is that, that y'all it's a- y'all tripping, like everybody tripping. Why is Tom Brady not have a job? Why is this and that? And it was tripping? because Brady, like you said, nobody's saying that is a general. No, I don't. I don't agree. There were people at that time that was looking. Oh man, Brady's arm strength is dwindling. Uh, he hasn't thrown for 4,000 or, if, you know, whatever number in this fact. amount of time. At that time, it's so easy to look back and say, yeah, he went to Tampa, turned him right the fuck up, won the Super Bowl, got on Mahomes' ass, won the Super Bowl at home. Like, he, it's so yeah. easy to look back and, and, and give credit and clap our hands and say, yeah, that was a great move at the time. But guess okay. what? He was in free agency looking for a job. He wanted to, I ain't going to do that. We already been beating up the Colts fans already, so we ain't going to yeah, do, do that. But, bro, he wanted to come to places, and, and they didn't want him. I understand. Straight up, so like we ain't going, so we ain't going to do that. Like again, he had a, a, also another. Like Tom was a great player, so he got a chance to pick his shot. But when you go to in the, in the open market, bro, I know what it looked like, and I know what it meant motherfuckers might think. But at the end of the day, bro, a lot of shit don't line up, bro. When you get there, and you got to take, you got to take the, you got to love the people that love you. And when you get out the outside, everybody don't love you, bro. And that's just the reality of the situation. That's the reality. I got yeah. you. All right. We got a special guest in the building today. Here. For sure. Uh, my brother, man. Look, man. I ain't going to lie. It's only a couple people. First of all, I ain't going to lie. That, that, that chair, it, it's got, some, it's got some, uh, some tire marks on that motherfucker. We getting the fastest people that we know to come down. <laughs> and- <laughs> to come in there. 
I gotta go slow, but it's yeah. four two. I hope some of that shit rub off on me, little. This hey, one. you hear me? <laughs> that for no, he's no, saying a four two. I, I I'm saying though, man. Hey. What can I say, bro? Tampa native. Hey. I don't know, man. Mister Big Play Air Rogers. We got Air. a lot to get in today, man. Shout out to my man. Isaiah Rogers. Let's go, man. We get in the air horn for my dog, man. We get an air horn, some claps. Yeah, though, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. What's up, Brody? How you doing today, man? I'm chilling, bro. You You said it's the fast chair. Yeah, you and T.Y. back to back. That's two four twos back to back. Speed Speed said he got to sit over here. Ooh. He said said he's fast. Let's get right into it. Who the fastest linebacker on the team? Me. Oh, that's easy. Definitely. Who? Speed. Ooh. Only because if I said you, debate over. <laughs> if I say speed, it's, it's more of a conversation. <laughs> I'm asking I don't speed. see how the debate do, do, will do, be do, over, though. Do you take that as a win? Yo. Like what he just said? Do you take that as a win? I don't know how to take it, but I just know I'm the fastest <laughs> linebacker. I don't know what he did. He just said some Tampa shit. Y'all, some y'all ride, been having that debate for like three years. Some plies, three years, three years. No, shit. they've been having that debate. I've actually never really even inserted myself into that conversation because I know I'm the fastest. Right. So we don't even have to discuss well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go Z. I'm going to go Z. <laughs> Do you take that as a win? Do I take I don't I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like now, does it fuel my self-esteem? Yes. But I already know I'm the fastest. <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact-based no, conversation. Bro, it was not the fastest. I don't know. I think you and Shea Goo probably a good too. Shea, now Shea got wheel. Shea a little me though. That's the problem though. Shea, 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 Shea like me. He got he got that giddy up. You, I'm, and I'm the too. you and Shea Goo can battle out. I think Grant. Uh, probably being there the first five yards, but Grand Legs get a little. I feel like I feel like linebackers y'all be cheating. Like y'all, y'all but don't race, sleep on the limb. Y'all though. race I think over little, after the first five steps, like five yards. Yeah, they got like, oh, fifteen yards, Matt. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna, who? Who? I only got, I only got That's why I say speed. He the only one who ready to run a whole. That's because he got given six four though. That's yeah. one of the reason people don't know speed six four until they meet you. You know what I mean? My family members be like, "Yeah, I ain't know speed was that much." This nigga six four. Speed. I walked down Lamar too. That's what they <laughs> I walked him down. What when? It, he was running to the side. You you know that. No. <laughs> don't do that. Yo, that's don't crazy. do that. Don't do that. Yo, don't speed, do that because I had a clip next time. I had a clip. I had a Bring clip. I walked him down. No, bro. don't do that. To speed, the side. Don't do that. Line, he's speed, trying don't to do that. All right, speed. All right, look, look. I'm going to get him out of here. He called him at the end. Zay, when you was on the team, I walked him. Me and Speed was on kickoff. I used to be and you know, look, look, and you knew Zay, how you we know carried it. The first nigga down. Zay, you knew how we carried it every Thursday. Every Thursday, yeah. I'm like line it up. Who want that shit? It was it was out of both of y'all. I was dusting. It, it wasn't nobody really competing I with did, y'all I did. outside I, of like. I, I did dust. George, George ass. I did George ass a bunch of times. George couldn't run. So you but did. y'all, but most of the time y'all was getting. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> y'all was getting double it? though. Whoa, hey yo. Bro, right, did we not doing this, bro? Right, we not doing this, bro. This ain't that. This ain't that. This show ain't that. We ain't been doing it. Don't start it now. That's what I said. I said get hit that motherfucker. Everybody, say what's up, man. How you feeling today, man? I'm good, man. Blessed, bro. Always, man. Back outside. Yeah, definitely. How's it feel? Good, man. Feel good. Actually, be back in Indy. Yeah. First time. Even you got snow though. That, that was still like it ain't cold. It's yeah. just it's just out there. Yeah, so, yeah. I agree. It still I feel agree. good to be back in the city. No, for sure. I mean, look, man. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it's good to see you back. You know what I'm saying? My man's smiling. Look, look. Oh, yeah. He got the good teeth. Oh yeah. Man. You yeah. Know what uh-huh. Yes, sir. I had to go fresh, get him. Fresh to get him. Take care of yourself, yeah, man. Take what you got on? Yourself. I like the ensemble. I got with on the uh, with the feet. I got on the revamp. So, uh, yeah. My homie from the crib. Oh, shout out to homie from the crib. Yeah. Shout out Tampa, man. Yeah. Shout out Tampa. I'll be outside. Leave me alone. I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? Florida boy. Yes, no, sir. for sure it's good to see you out, man. Look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like Isaiah, one of the best people that we know, genuine person on the team. Like good people mm-hmm. in the locker room, hotel playing PS5 all night. Like good dude, bro. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, and have to watch like just all the slander and all the other bullshit that just kind of came on your name. Like, and you know, we talked to JT about it too. Like, you yeah. know, obviously when he was here, uh, going through it. Uh, for, you know, different circumstances. Obviously, he was going through contract shit, so, you know, that brings its own uh, type of negativity. Uh, but can you just speak on, like, when you going through, you know, that type of um, attempt on your character, uh, how, how, like, explain what that's like to go through it and not being able to openly speak on that. You know what I mean? Damn, I, I ain't gonna lie. It was, it was a lot easier than people think. Mm. Like, because I use that, that moment as motivation to just keep going. And then my cousin told me, he was like, now your name out there, whether it's good or bad, it's all about how I responded. So 
I read all the comments. Everything I was tatting, I, I viewed everything. Like, I was interacted with everything. Mm. So I ain't never run from it. You know, I was telling my agent, like, man, I'm trying to speak about it. I'm trying to talk. Like, he's like, nah, stay away from it. But, yeah. like, I feel like since I was a kid, you know, I lost my dad in 2013. So I've been through the worst of the worst. Yeah. So this was like, you know, when it, it wasn't bad to me. Mm. But to the world, it was just, oh, he's this type of person, that type of person. I know who I am, and I know who I am, and I know who I was at the time. So it ain't never knocked me down. Like, I never let my head down mm. through this whole time. I just used this time to just be a, you know, full-time dad mm. and just factor in on, you know, what I almost didn't have if I was playing. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, nah, speak on that. Speak on that. I mean, a uh, couple things. I mean, first off, like, I lost my mom when I, in 2013, too. Uh, so shout out to the parents. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? But I think... That's one of the things, too. Uh, we just recently had a deaf in our family on my uh, my girl's side. And I was just explaining to her, like, man, like, as tough as those moments are, uh, sometimes they just provide you such clarity on... It's like, for a second, you pause the matrix and kind of see what's what's real and what's not. Right. Like. And I think, you know, those type of moments of clarity, like, provide, like, in a weird way, solace in moments like that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because you just... You understand that the love and or hate, it wasn't real either way. Right. You know what I'm saying? They Definitely. just all responded to the moment, bro. But, nah, mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? With the prop bets and all that. Look, I ain't going to, I don't, I'm not a gambler. Like, you care to just speak on, like, what was you, what was you betting on? I, please don't tell yeah. me you wasn't betting on. I ain't going to lie. Look, the crazy thing about it is, look, this is the crazy thing. This is the crazy thing is, look, I'm going to just say this. I be seeing y'all tweets every week. Okay. Tyre Franklin, nine and a half tackles. That's some money. Yo, yeah. Bet it. <laughs> <laughs> Book it. Look, it's been a couple times. Uh, yeah. you know, I like, love when they drop I'm in. Like, Pay him. I'm like, right. I, I had that eight. I let the guys down today. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, no, I was letting Zay down, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro, bro what's going on with the problem? I saw you said the joint. I read your article on ESPN. Obviously, great article, by the way. I appreciate Look good it. in that joint, for yeah. sure. Uh yeah, just speak on, like, I mean, at the prop bet, I know you already said, you said you were just, it was really just a bunch of random prop bet shit, too. Huh? Yeah, nah, like, it's crazy because the world's different now from back then when I was, like, going through the yeah. investigation part. Now it's just every commercial is that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just think, yeah. I think more now is normal. Yeah. But at the time, it was like, oh, he's the only one in the world doing it, you know what I'm saying? But nah, at the time, Florida, you couldn't, like, legally bet. You couldn't legally bet. Mm. So I was, you know, placing them for the, for the boys or people that I knew back at the crib and stuff like that. So it was never like, oh, we we finna go viral. I'm about to go. I'm about to be the highest paid dude in the world. Like, it was never no intent of that. Like, yeah, I broke the rules and understood at the time, like, what I was doing, you know, and I shied away from it, you know, here and there. But then, you know, during the investigation, you know, I gave everything the NFL, you know, wanted from me, from phone records. They wanted that. They wanted Instagrams, emails, everything they wanted. I gave it to them, let them do the investigation. And I never ran from None of, none of anything that they ever asked for. It's crazy that you actually said that, bro, because uh, so me and Speed was at the Super Bowl. Yep. First of all, the whole shit is in Vegas, which is gambling capital. Like, right. You can't get away sure. from gambling in that mm -hmm. bitch. We at the Super Bowl, and, you know, we left at third quarter trying to beat the traffic. Long story short, we go just watch it at a bar, like, fourth quarter in overtime, right? Yeah. Bro, you... <laughs> your motherfuckers bet the house on that shit. You hear me? <laughs> like, and you can, you can feel it, like... <laughs> Yo, Sam Frank hit the first down OT, bro. Oh, come on, Patty. <laughs> that's, that's he called no baby, now, baby, man. baby. Relax, relax. This Pat Mahomes, they're getting the ball back. You, bro, you all right? Like all right. talking about your it's, life. Or it's crazy, like you said. Like you know, I remember like when that happened. It was so like, and, and it wasn't that long ago, but it was like taboo. Right. Mm. So like, how is it looking at it now? Just seeing how the narrative has changed. Just seeing how like how your reaction was compared to like how it's like being pressed out now, though. Bro, like, if it's on TV, I look away. Like, I don't even go around it, bro. Like, <laughs> like I don't even want no parts of it. Scarred, huh? You know how we talk. Be like, yeah, bro, I right, bet. I don't even say that like that no more, bro. <laughs> I don't want it in my phone. Like, bro, I just be like. <laughs> what? Yeah, I feel you 100%. Yeah, like, bro, no yeah, bro. Yeah, bro look, like, look, say no more. <laughs> yeah, like, okay, yes, sir. Like, I don't got, I don't even say that word He's in my like phone, Goodell, bro. So, like, like Goodell cool. got his phone tapped. Yeah. He, he even texts back, bet. Hey, 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 oh, bet. Yeah. Yeah, nope. off so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'd be, be like, bro, commercial on, I close my eyes. Like, oh, I ain't man. see it. Nope, I don't know That's what's going man. on. So how was that yeah. going through that process, I guess? I mean, you know, giving up phone records. That's some crazy shit, man. I mean, look, we, we ball players. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Obviously, we from there, but we don't get into that. I know that had to feel, like, invasive, like, just having to give stuff. I mean, obviously, you coming clean about your shit, too. Yeah. Bro. Nah, it was, it was weird to me. Like, it wasn't hard. I was like, 
if I got to give y'all that, I give y'all whatever information y'all need. As long as we can get this over with and, and move forward, I'm just ready for, you know, the next step. So mm-hmm. it was definitely different. And then I got, like, the family on my phone flying, so I ain't know they going through just mine or everybody else's privacy, oh, so damn. I ain't know. So it was just really just a, a life lesson that I had to really just, like, lock in and learn from. Yeah. It, can you talk a little bit about, uh, a little bit about you know, how, how did you start really seeing how people viewed you in terms of, like, relationships? Mm. Mm. Long story short, my birthday, you start seeing old messages from people. So I think the last message I got from a lot of people, I think this time let me understand that people, only conversations to me was, hey, bro, I need tickets. I need this. I need mm. that when I was playing. Yeah. Their last message was, I think, June 8th or whatever like that when it was like, hey, bro, keep your head up. I ain't got no message since. Then they text me happy birthday. But back mm. then it was, oh, bro, what you doing? I need some tickets. Boom. Now I ain't playing during the season. Nobody got to talk to me throughout the whole entire season. You know what I'm saying? So that just helped me know. Who was there for me and who wasn't? Mow the grass. Yeah, so yeah. now I was like, people tell me happy birthday, and I seen their last message was that. Nah. It ain't that. Yeah, yeah ain't I, ain't, that. I ain't even saying thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So And, and I, I feel like from what you, obviously, like how you addressed it and how you were talking about it, it was just like, to that point, how did you feel like that fueled the work that you said that you did put in when I was done? Like, I, I, I ain't known that. Y'all have what y'all need, yeah. but I still got work I need to do. How was that? Uh, it was it was easy transition for me because okay. my kids was growing and I got close with my family and I think that's what I really just locked in like on them only like it was never no oh I'm still gonna be this type of person to help other people out like nah it's just me my kids my fam like I wasn't worried about nobody else during this whole entire time and, and it helped me be that person now like when we going back to work yeah. that's all I got is my kids and my family now so I ain't gonna lie I think it's uh one thing that I always get lost like. You know, when guys go through, you know, something like that or, you know, whether it's a PD or something like that, like, bro, like, it's repercussions to your family that got to yeah. deal with this, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got kids, bro. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and at the end of the day, our job is to take care of them and, and, and you feel me? And try to move our family lineage forward because we play such a pivotal role in our family. Um, it sounds like you got a lot of just kind of great perspective just being able to step back and just, you know what I'm saying, see things for what it is. Yeah, I felt like that with my son. You know, he got the same name as me. So, being a kid, you know, you Google your name. Mm-hmm. Like, he going to do that one day, and that's going to pop up for his name. You know what I'm saying? When he want to Google his dad. So, that's why I thought about that a lot. And I even said that on my ESPN interview. It was a lot that wasn't even, you know, on the internet for everybody to see. But the whole B-roll with ESPN was the whole day. Like, our interview was like four hours long. For real? But they narrowed it down to like eight minutes. Yeah. So, it was a lot that I wanted them to, you know, put out there for the world to see. But. They cut it down to just what they put it down to. So, what was it that you wanted to see? Your family? Not nah, Ben. They was at my crib six a.m. Bro, six a.m. doing what? Watching me wake the kids up. First of all, my kids ain't getting up at six, but they yeah. want me to wake and, the and kids up. And don't wake up. my kid up early. Yeah. And I tell them already. Cairo not here, but when you come text me, you outside because if Cairo upstairs taking a nap and you wake his ass up, with. guess what? Now yeah, you gotta like, go deal with him. Like, so don't do that. But yeah, they was there the whole day, yeah, bro. Like we always, he bro. got a right. kid. He got a kid, so he understand what I ain't saying. Like, we didn't pull it up. Just, yeah. me, 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 me. Yeah. We ain't never we did know. no shit. Oh, my God. See what he, yeah. 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 we know. Yeah. But nah, yeah, it was, it was just like, I felt <laughs> like everybody liked the ESPN interview, but I ain't like it because I felt like, you know, we put all that time and effort in during that day, and that's what y'all put out. Yeah. So what is, I'm saying, what, what part of it did you feel like they missed? Like, what did you want the world to see? I don't I don't even remember everything that I really want the world to see. It was just they just narrowed it down like for one, them questions weren't even back to back like that. Mm-hmm. It was in between like childhood. Then then they had my mom on the camera too, and asking her questions. And I'm like, Y'all ask her questions and she don't even know what y'all talking about, bro. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it was just a lot, but I don't I don't know. I don't really care too much about it, you know. Do you feel any like basically like is it a chip on your shoulder to the league or anybody? I mean, I'm sure you can't really. I mean, you ain't got to answer that if you don't want to. But yeah. is it like a, like a, it ain't have to go like that, bro. Like, did you feel like, like, it ain't have to go like that, bro. Like, y'all could have, you know what I mean? I took a year away from football, a year away from pay, first mm-hmm. of all. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Talk about it. Like, it, it, I didn't commit a crime. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's people doing way, like, worse stuff. Yeah. Around. I mean, in this league, in in life in I, general, yeah, they're I, doing that. So you take away million, uh, whatever yeah, the, yeah, millions. You yeah, took away millions yeah. from a man that 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 made an honest on an honest app without a lot of 
clarification without beforehand. without right, a lot of clarification honestly, because yeah. now and then it's something that's 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 a staple in the league now. Yeah, yeah, but it's something that's staple. So I won't like, say a chip on my shoulder. I, I just say I'm already motivated. Yeah. I'm already feeling to go. Mm. But them Philly fans, bro, Ooh, <laughs> the DMs I've been getting is like, <laughs> "Hey, we ready for you. We love you, but." <laughs> One mess up is F you. Like, I'm like, nah, nah. look, they keep it on it, though. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they do, they, they do. But nah, <laughs> I go, I thought the Philly smoke was like kind of like, like over exaggerated. Not flu gazy. I knew y'all had real smoke, but it was like over exaggerated <laughs> until because Gilly, one of the most respectful people right. when it come to like, you know what I mean? He he got that real, that realness in him. Like, I ain't about to be talking about no man on the da, da, da. But when they lost that game, and he got the calling out the players. He got the uh, Gilly. Oh uh, yeah, on the yeah. on the live. He got uh, the you call me. Get oh out yeah, of the oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gilly can. I'm like nah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I'm like nah. Philly fans really like no, that. I can Gilly really a Philly. I fan. can tell it was different when Gilly and Wallow they pull up to the locker room. <laughs> yeah, I seen before that before the game. Gilly. Where the linebackers at? I'm no, Gilly. I'm Gilly, bro. Don't come in here on that thing. But now, now, look. Now, remember the uh, boy tried to take the shot in the video? He c- c- cut the camera. Like, oh, lift the Gilly little ass up. <laughs> Bro, yeah, yeah, in turn. A, don't Philly fans is a little different, nah, little yeah. Different. I, I could tell because and you coming from a whole crazy. switch over, like, yeah. bro. Indy fans Indy is like to, they huh. love you regardless, bro. Yeah, like they showed me so yeah, much love, and yeah. to this day, like when I got back in the city, like they've been showing me love, bro. And it's just like mm. it's genuine too, and you yeah. feel it. Speak about your time here in Indy, man. Obviously, it's where you started your career. It's where you made I, ain't gonna, I, I love this shit, bro. Yeah. yeah Indy yeah, peaceful. It's yeah. like the best location for work. Mm-hmm. It's like, it ain't nothing to do. You just got to work. You know, <laughs> it ain't Miami or Cali or nothing. Like, it ain't God. nothing to do here, bro. No, no, that's a little backhanded compliment. I got to speak good for the for Indy us. animals. <laughs> it's, it's a good one. Yeah, like shit come ass like, out here. So shit. Yeah, true, I, I love that shit, though. Was, <laughs> it ain't nothing here. <laughs> they going to be like, man, y'all be in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah. I ain't going out easy. I was yeah, on post last night. I don't know why I did that. 40, what is it, 40 <laughs> seconds <laughs> Shout out, yeah. out to Speed. Speed, I'm like, we got to get the fuck out of here. I'm yeah, like, like, I'm like, yeah, 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 when you, when you had to tell me that I was the best team, what was the oh bet? Oh, my gosh. What Whoa. was the bet we made? Nah, oh, so. I thought we said we What was the what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't what? even say that. Nah, nah, we can't even say that. We can't so, even say that. It ain't, what was the understanding? Was, so no yeah. currency was, was, was involved. <laughs> what, no what, what, currency. Uh, hey, Roger. <laughs> hey, Rocky. Hey, no currency was what involved. What was the understanding we had? Yeah, yeah. It was the understanding we had. It was the understanding. Speed like the big brother I never had, so. He real competitive, bro. Yeah, indeed. So he'll, he'll get dressed for practice. Like, he ain't got no swag at practice. He don't. Oh, that's cap. Think he do. Hey, that's cap. Do. So when, when, when you see him putting on his sleeves, <laughs> he come to me, he say, hey, bro, you think this fit this fit clean for practice? I'm like, because I'm over there putting it on. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, bro. He told me, I might get a fit today. I'm like, no, you're not, bro. He say, look, if I get one, you got to make a TikTok. Because my TikTok was booming at the time. He yeah. like, you got to make a TikTok and say, I'm the best teammate you ever had. Nah, I say, nah. Nah, 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 I told you. I say, nah, you got to do it in the game. That's what I rebutted no, said during the game. You was like, if you get a touchdown this game. Against Jacksonville. You was like, oh, if you get a touchdown this game, I make a TikTok tackle. saying you the best. Uh... Man, he scored the first. <laughs> oh, you talking about when I walked in? You talking about when I walked in? Yes, yes, on the back oh, front. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. I'm thinking he forgot. He on the sideline like, oh, you hey, I'm the best teammate you ever had, bro. I'm like, all right, bro, you got it, bro. So it's on my TikTok now. Like, yeah, oh, this is my favorite teammate ever. I do remember that. That was a But he do it every time, though. So now he just be like, I bet I get a touchdown this game. <laughs> now you like, all right, bro, you got it, bro. Now he just, now he just know that shit. Good luck. He just cap, so we in camp. I go back to Isaiah. I said, uh, I'm a scooter. I said, yeah. I said, bro, if I get a pick today, if I get a pick today, I get to get your scooter. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, bro. You know how, how vital them scooters is. Yeah, so camp, hold on. Bro. For everybody that don't know, we <laughs> traded camp at Grand Park in Westfield. Yeah. Big, big camp. Grand campus. Park. Hallways long as hell. You walk in. <laughs> five minute walk from team me and the defense me. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, them Razor scooters. Shout out the Razor. Shout out the Bird. Shout out to all the scooters, mm-hmm. the bikes. Send all me y'all white. gonna be calling come July. You need something to move around that joint. Zay always had the scooter on some oh, fly yeah. shit. Me and Kenny. Slide. Yeah, him and Kenny you know, always speak? moving around. Which I had the Bird, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, right. yeah, so I guess when you bet so you can have I a scooter for a day. I bet him. I think we was, in, was we in joint you practice? Wager. Bro, he ain't get a pick oh, yeah. all count. I ain't had a pick all count. We he, in joint practice. Oh, they, no they understood. They understood. They understood. Yeah. Of Boom. an
Had to be Detroit. I think it was Detroit. Probably Detroit. Yeah, it was Detroit. I just know I ain't had my scooter for a week. Oh. That's all I do remember. Can I, all right. Do that joint. We're going we to be serious, and I'm going to move on from this, but can we just be honest for just five minutes? I'm just asking everybody here to be honest for five minutes. <laughs> can we all acknowledge that a sports locker room, not just football, is where a fuck ton of gambling happens anyway? Definitely competitive gambling. It, yeah, I was going to say that. That's what I Competitive gambling for shit show. It be weird stuff though, like, like Papa Shot. Like yeah. he think he the best shooting locker room. Papa Shot. Cornhole. Cornhole. <laughs> cornhole. Ping pong. But when, that cornhole shit get yeah. pressure though. I wasn't, I wasn't good at cornhole. Yeah. Cornhole. yeah, yeah, I ain't good. I stand with I, I was the Papa Shot King though but, uh, when I was there though. Yeah, ain't look, no cap. Yeah, what about better? We got the golf outside. Papa Shot King. What about I'm they mad, get the I'm car games every, going? They get the car. What about the plane rides? I was asleep. The boo ray. I'm asleep. <laughs> no, they wasn't part of this. I'm just saying, like, bro, like, we are some competitive motherfuckers. We better yeah. not. Motherfucker bet on himself for a whole year. You think he don't want to bet that he ain't going to hit this cornhole from over here? Right. <laughs> me. I bet with nothing on the line. I give you $60 if I miss it. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, 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 Hey, speed $20, real quick. $20, $20. Look, he don't say nothing. I hit. That was $20. No, bro, it is. <laughs> that's how it went, though. No, for sure. Yeah, for no, sure, for bro. sure. Fair. No, that's funny. Damn. Shit, yeah. So that just should be a part of anything, bro. We just be, you know what I'm saying? You might bet that we're going to win the one on ones that day against the running backs. Like, it ain't sure, even right. that serious. We don't even look at it like that. <laughs> so, what she I'm saying, funny. I got a, uh, an unbiased opinion what, about the seven on seven. I do not personally think oh, NFL shit. players. Oh, mm. Jump right to it, then. Oh, Should right. play seven on seven in the U.S. You talking about in the Olympic Olympics, game? In the Olympic Olympics, games. For the Olympic you're saying, games. You're saying to in support the, Olymp- the USA in the Olympics, NFL players shouldn't. Because me, honestly, I don't even think any NFL players will make the team. I think they'll just put. I, I, I think crazy I think, as shit. I think they'll add. I think they'll add NFL players just because for the propaganda or the or the or the or the, or the, or the views, or the, the views or whatever. But. I don't think the NFL players gonna make the team. Why? Because you asking me why? Because you don't follow any seven on seven. What you mean? In the pages, we follow seven on seven. What you, you, you mean? Them you boys is us. wrong. You're underestimating us. We follow seven on seven. Shout out to the game. They got moves Shout like you. But Tom, Shout out to Petty. Shout out seven to on Petty. seven and flag is different. Flag. We talking flag. We talking okay. flag. Flag and yeah, seven flag. on seven. I got shout out to Philly Finest. I flag got, I got step is all crazy, over. yo. But I'm, I'm. But I'm trying to figure out is that why would not? Why wouldn't? Cause Tim, I, why you right, think them, Pat Sertain ain't gonna make that team? Yeah, Tim, them boys out there cooking. Why you think Jesse Bates ain't gonna make that team? All right, so this is what I'm gonna say to you: Are you saying on offense? It's or defense? different. Seven on se- the, the 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 flag football game is not is it's not the it's not like Bro, the moves they make on, on the flag on. world is insane. Hold on, real quick, real quick. Hey, say what was your forty time? Four two. Okay. Hey. You <laughs> you cover yeah. wide you cover wide receivers like six six five. Six, yeah, three. yeah, all okay. the time. With pads on, right? Right. Right, so he go out there on a seven, seven, seven on seven. With shirts and shorts on. Shorts and uh, nothing else. And he out there just, hey, yo, cover X, Y, and Z. He can't do that? Are you kidding? Are you shitting me? <laughs> bro, I'm talking about when the ball is in their hands and when the ball is in. Like, it's not just He's going to have bro. to cut. Co- you got to pull a flag. Isaiah, speak on it. I'm going to put it this way. Olympic team, if it's Team USA, for the world to see, then they'll put NFL players. But if they want to win a gold medal, then NFL players won't make it to you. Skill- you- oh, Thank you. Hold on. I need both Thank of y'all. You. I need both of y'all to explain to me Thank what you. skill set specifically. Because I can guard them, but like for example, I play flag. Like okay, but I, I'm gonna be honest. You don't even got to run a route. You could just say hut and throw the ball behind him and let him work. Dudes in the lead ain't pulling their flags. They dipping, spinning, throwing the ball like laterals. You don't know what's going on. And then the plays they running flag like the defensive scheme. You can't run cover two, cover three, man to it because the way they run their routes and this weird stuff going on on the field, okay. ain't, he ain't getting down there pulling them boys flat. Them boys right. ain't got bones in their bodies when it comes to that, bro. What? So, and them boys ain't been hitting the ground all year. All right, gonna so come out of- okay, okay. So wait, wait. I feel like, Grizzay, correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like we're saying two different things. Me, when I'm hearing Speed say that NFL players cannot step on the field, we're saying that the perp- uh, the guys that they're gonna be playing against are outrightly as more athletic. Nah, and better. No, 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 we're not right. saying that. So you're Tim? saying that? Hold on, hold on. So you're saying that the schemes, the play style, and everything else is totally different from playing. I think Speed saying the players with the ball in their hand are better playmakers than NFL players. All right, let me let me ask you this. Let me ask, let me ask you this. Now, if they come play it's, all it's sports, a difference. We gonna cook I, them. I got a question. Let me but ask you this: If it's a 
flag team of the best flag, the Olympic flag team or the best flag players in 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 America versus the flag team for the NFL. Who you all think gonna win? I'm going the Olympic team. Olympic team. Are y'all fucking crazy? Like, no. are y'all serious, right now? Bro, I'm telling you, I I I know the best of the best. I know the best of the best in the flag world. It's 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 now if you putting pads on, then I'm taking NFL players. That's that's where that's where we suit in at. But Zay, come on, Zay. flag flag is a whole different game. It's people wait. who you never seen before when they go out there and play flag and they the best out there. All right, hold on, wait, wait, because wait. they're not playing against bro, the yeah, best. Yeah. Hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. The boys weigh one forty. It's, it's, it's a different movement, bro. I play I play both. So I know Zay. Now let me let me let me let me give a little background now yeah, too. Like so, Zay. Since I've known him, like you know, in the off season, uh, first of all, I'm gonna be honest with y'all boys out there, you don't you don't get four two by lifting weights. I'm just be honest. With you. Oh yeah, nah, <laughs> that, shit, that don't work that way. <laughs> hey, look, I know all y'all young boys out here listening and shit. You know how they tell you, yeah, man, eat your vegetables, hang from the uh from the uh pull up bar to stretch your spine so you could grow to be six five and so you. <laughs> Totally Look, some of this shit God given, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta come out the womb and, and be born to run that shit. I'm gonna just let you know that off the rip. Okay. Uh but Zay in the offseason, that's what he's always done. He always he just play whether it was seven on seven mm-hmm. or flag. He's he's always since I've known him, he go to Tampa and that he just go and that's just uh, what he can do. So dog, yeah, whatever yeah, he... that's all I, I... <laughs> <laughs> like what? So nah, crazy. real talk. I didn't see the movie. Hey, yeah, so, but, that, but, that, but that's but that's yeah, you you wild. That's right. a pause. But uh <laughs> That's a juking dogs is a, I don't know, I'm tripping. Nah. But that's what they always do. So I know you got expertise <laughs> in that area, but I, but all I'm gonna say is, bro, if you get a team, uh Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson, like like the the just like I get it that we play a structure game because I get what you're saying. It's the same yeah. thing as like pickup basketball versus structure basketball. Right. Like I, I understand that there's less rules, less structure, which allows for more creativity to enter, which plays a factor into the game. I understand that. However, y'all not playing against the best athletes. Right. And y'all don't un- also understand some of the best athletes in this game are confined by the structure of the game. Some of the, I would love to see Tyreek outside of nah, that. Yeah, I, I would I love get to exactly see what you're saying, Jamar though. Chase outside of that. Like, but Zay, if you had... To, 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 outside to, of Z, to Z's point, because like I said, I own, I guess I'm just say 14 guys or whatever mm-hmm. it is. 14 guys to do the same... From the NFL, to do the same exact thing that you do every summer... You telling me that team couldn't beat the USA? Nah, team? if they train, yeah, but that's what if I'm they, saying. If they really practice for it, then because it took they're not me, gonna practice for it. You ain't practice. Nah, it ain't took me like three years to actually like Catch to, up to the game. play flat. Like now, I can play yeah. with the best of the best in the flag world. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying. But the okay. first three years, I was just playing off athleticism. athleticism it's yeah. like, oh, you fast, boom, do this, boom. Nah, it took, it's gonna take you some time. What's something that you feel like you had to learn? Like when you talking about the difference in the game, like what's a like a difference that you like just remember? knowing when to jump so he don't pull your flag, when to you know go low. Pulse. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So just knowing, knowing how to make different movements, it ain't just running the ball or whatever. And them jukes that you like, I shake somebody and make them fall. He still put my flag. But if he had pads on, I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a different type of game, bro. Like some people just know how to like make plays out there. So it's a little different. I think y'all bugging. I ain't gonna lie. To NFL nah, NFL players bad. like actually that, work for NFL, it. NFL, NFL, NFL players are uh, uh, mad, arrogant. We not training, not practicing for that bitch. That's not. They gonna bro. just. They gonna Jamar leave, Chase. They gonna leave offseason training and try Tyreek to Tyreek Hill are unguardable, nigga. It's gonna be a they good game because the, the flag world ain't guarding them. They, they not. Just gonna zone them out, right? But when you switch it and when you switch it and they on offense and NFL players on defense. Oh, because if you play off, you gotta play both ways. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. I ain't nah, playing. I was both gonna ways. say, yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. We got enough of both, we got enough of both sides. But that's why I say they going out there and playing fucking safety and corner out there, bro. And he I just throw him out there. He getting stops. Y'all gonna get stops. Yeah. You think you telling me that Rick, he, Zay not gonna be able to get enough stops for Tyreek and Chase to score more touchdowns? It's gonna be you a good game. Tripping. It's people people gonna be shocked that an NFL player is actually making it a good game with people who but nobody I, seen before. But I agree, I agree though. They they I agree they, too. they uh, to speed point, they are nice though. No, I ain't no, gonna no, shout out, I'm not shout gonna out go to my brother Bruce nice. Matt Philly. Yeah, niggas he is uh, nice. he 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 like one of the he probably the best receiver on the, the actual he Olympic team. Fort he was just Worth, at the uh, uh, Super Bowl pushing that drum. A Fort Worth seven on seven. Fort Worth flag team. Man, Fort they Worth. ain't got no team. We don't cut out of town for him. Get on their head, boy. <laughs> Pause. Hey, you talking about? <laughs> Hey yo, that's really crazy though, bro. Nah, man. Hey, what's how you feel about? Uh, I know you turned about this uh, new NCAA. Woo! 
Oh, yeah, but I, I feel like UMass not going to be on there, so I don't they need to make a, not going to be on there? Tarleton what? definitely should be They need be to make a UMass, Tarleton like, should not all be nowhere decades, on man. that fucking game, bro. Hey, bro, Tarleton, bro. Tarleton, bro. Tarleton is bro. not on that joint. I, 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 I feel like I didn't drop this game when I was playing. I wanted to play, like, on the game. They got your team on there. They got your team on there. Yeah, but. Wait, wait, wait. You think UMass not going to get a team? Nah, they're going to probably be on there, but I don't, don't want to. I'm not going to use them. I want to use Wait. them if I was on the team. I'm at 18, right? I'm at 10 career nah, players the first day. They independent now. They're 18 in basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I y'all still on the game, though. You of all? Yeah, I'm not, y'all, y'all, y'all overall like a 53, Yeah, though. I'm not using them. <laughs> what? Like, I'm, crazy, edit, I'm telling you now. You come to my crib, Tarleton is edited. <laughs> 99. 99. 99. We were talking to uh, Erica speed, about this. The whole team got 99 Is it thorough to edit yourself on video games? Is that a thorough thing to do? Everybody did it, bro. Oh. You edited it yourself before in the game? Oh, now? Yeah. Now no, that you're in the league. No, no. You got, it's like you got to play with your overall, right? Nah, yeah, yeah. I just... <laughs> yeah. I just tried my best. <laughs> nah, dog. No. I ain't good. It's, it's, but... I tried my best. Nah. Even if they got you in that joint, you were 67. Nah, I'm not going like in there know? doing that. If it's like... If I'm in a dynasty mode, I might... Like give myself like the boost, but I'm not going in there making myself 99. Yeah, that's yeah. corny. That's so give you the... motivation to grind to try to be like yeah, 99. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you come to my crib... EJ speed is ninety nine on the <laughs> game, <laughs> and, and I don't care. Don't don't uh don't don't try to switch my roster, nothing like that. <laughs> don't try to go download the latest roster. Hey. I'm the only person edited on the game. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Hey, so is this um is the NCAA uh 2025 cover is that uh a a sacred position? You know, is that is that something that I, what is that something mean, to like? be heralded like like the Madden cover? Oh. Right, like, cause this they say this is gonna be the very last one. Do the man cover or the twenty five is the very they, last they one? They said they, they, they say they're not making them more after this one. Oh, oh they dang. just gonna give us a one joint. You get this. This That's is five. like GTA. That's they five. say this is gonna what, be Madden. It. No, oh. uh, the NCAA. Yeah, they said so you get that cover. You one. OD. I think they're gonna put the logo so don't nobody feel That's special. That's why I said. Oh no, no! no. You gotta just throw the logo, bro. No, that's not okay, you, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta bless somebody. With nah, that you gotta joint, go bro. put a legend on that joint. Like you gotta go put a college legend on that joint. Nah, like, you gotta give like somebody up today. I time. vote prime. Yes, coach prime. prime? I vote prime. You want a coach? I vote prime. You lame as hell. What? I vote prime. I say the logo, bro. The logo. Just, that's put, it? just put the logo. So don't nobody. Nah, I can't, you can't do the unless you if you unless if you don't put a legend. I say you put a legend. Vince Young. You can't put no active player Vince right Young? now. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, Zay. So in your compare, in your, in your, uh, in your, <laughs> nobody was it, Syracuse. Respectfully, <laughs> yo, yo, I can yo, see them. Yo. I can see them. That's some hate. Doing, you about to don't uh, do that. Jim Brown. And I, and I, and I, and I, <laughs> the logo. That's cool. Yeah, you gonna need a leather. Behind. You gonna need a leather cool. helmet. Get all the, everybody involved. Hold on. 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 Real quick. I'm at Lola. Speed need to stop doing that. Because when I introduce you to Freedy, we was with Freedy. Don't do that. Yeah. 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 That's no. No. But Freedy. Yeah. Freedy. You want to put a defensive end on the cover of? Nah. I ain't yeah. saying put him on the cover, but all the Syracuse. Look, bro, look, I'm look, saying look. for anybody eligible for the front, it's they gonna need some leather cleats. Bro, yeah, no, that's not there. We ain't not like it. Not too hold much on Qs now. Not hat. too much on Qs, bro. Cause <laughs> Tarleton damn sure not on that game, bro. I ain't gonna hold bro, you, bro. We, we gotta do the foul transfer, bro. We on the game. We beat what? Just what? Is Abilene Christian on there? Huh? Is, is Abilene Christian on no. there? Oh is Sam God. Houston on there? Barely. Then we on there. <laughs> Man, respectfully, though. Yeah, and this what niggas need to understand. <laughs> Sy- Syracuse University does have a player on the cover of a game. Donovan McNabb. Hey! Just saying. Mm. He was on Madden. We talking about NCAA. Nah, hey, he was on Madden. Because he was out switched to Tyler. No, 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 no. He's a member. <laughs> he's a member. <laughs> hey. McNabb's a member. I hate when y'all switched to you know, the I got, I got pressure with McNabb, Lil' Keto, man. Right. McNabb is there? moving a little. Nah, I ain't doing that on air, but he was going to let you mad slide, though. We're not going to let you mad slide. I'm on whatever y'all on, because I know. Okay, I'm going to let you mad slide. You mad? What is that, Boston? We at, we at Amherst. Amherst. <laughs> <laughs> nah, fuck that, man. Nah, rep your school, bro. Rep nah, the right. ATM, bro. Independent we got, ATM. We got Victor Cruz. Yeah. yeah. What? He's a preseason Bowl. legend. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, he put on for everybody when preseason. Like, I'm like, Victor Cruz. That's who a sauce. Who that's who. Me? Uh, no, no. Yes, sir. Got me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You got, yes, sir. You got uh, Andy uh, Isabella. He, he was... He was one of the uh, top receivers that year. That's uh, it. That's that's all we uh, rock uh, man. Okay. And, uh, wait, so wait, wait, wait. Y'all don't think the PA so rep? Top three. Hold <laughs> <laughs> on. Top three. Yeah. I got Prime. <laughs> I got Caleb. 
<laughs> and I got uh, Prom Caleb and um. Why do you keep Blake saying Prom, bro? No, no, no. What's his name? Uh, Blake Marvin Hall. and Marvin. Bro, a Junior? coach should not be on the, uh, the damn cover. I don't want to <laughs> no, see relax, a coach. Fuck, I don't want the principal no, to relax. be the face. He can't. Marvin Yo. can't go on 2025. Yeah, it's got to be a new young boy, first of all. Nah, I like, the, I like that out. concept. No, he said uh, the logo with the mascot. With the mascot. Get all the teams okay. involved. Okay. No, what is all this bro, equal rights shit? No. You gotta pick a winner. winner. So who you got? Pick a winner. Let's stop doing that. Thank you, Zay. We got the cover speed. We got Jim Brown. We got somebody. Jim Brown. No. Look. 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 Look, fumbling. I'm not fumbling. S- I'm not fumbling. Well, you got I'm setting up some suspense. If you let me get my shit off. Don't say Reggie either, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't say Reg- Go ahead, bro. Syracuse got a really good receiver that's coming out. Uh, Oregon Day. Uh, hey, bro, bro. Why you do that? You better just wait for that. Who's the cover? <laughs> on, bro. You better just wait for that. Who's the bro, cover? The cover? All right, look. I mean, all right, look, look. Honestly, you could, go, you could go uh, the quarterback for uh, for Texas. He, uh, what's the, not Ewers? Is it Ewers? Ewers, okay. Yeah, Ewers, Ewers, he's coming out. Um, okay. He looking good. Uh, the young boy, uh, we was just with him in the, uh, in the section, Isaiah Bond. He just transferred oh, from, yeah. uh, the receiver, he, I mean, but Bama? you gotta, I don't like, who, who becomes the guy of this next college football season is to be determined. You know well, what I mean? Hold I feel on, like, hold, hold on, on. I, feel, I feel, I feel, I feel like, Hold on. Oh, yeah, Travis Hunter. Hold on. Push your door. Hold on. There it is right hold there. Hold on. Shout out to the. Hold on. Because I have a rebuttal. Shout out, shout Brad, out to the production a, team. Shout out to Brad. Because I have I'm a rebuttal. Your door I got a rebuttal. With a bust down AP, just no, no. like this. On the, the front of the, when Reggie Bush on the front of the jaw. was on the cover, he went to the draft. Shador going to be in the draft after Hold on. When he, went, when he went on the cover, he went to the draft. So Caleb could be on it's there. 2025, bro. That, he will be on 2024. Bro, I think they played in a 23 season for a 24 game. So you got to play in a 24 season to be on a 25 game. I think that you can put them on because the all right. Because I think it's expense of the game. I guess no, 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 I don't no, no, know. no. What do you mean? Because of what we're do, what they're doing in terms of the release of the game. Because it just means it's a year. Because it yeah, yeah, yeah. it's it's it's, it's when is it's the right game uh, allegedly supposed to come out? Do y'all know? Uh, can we look that I'm up not real mistaken. Quick? It's supposed to be like July the end of Wait, I don't this think it's July? summer. I don't think it's summer. Nah, next it's July of next year. Next year. It, we we getting yeah. a look up, but but all I'm gonna say is if it's coming out in 2025, yeah. well, usually they come out the year before though, huh? So it would have to come out this year, right? Ooh, yeah. I kind of hear what you're saying. So mm-hmm. it would have it would have to come out like this August. Yeah. Pretty much. So it would have to be honoring somebody from that For last before, year. Huh? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so if it's that case, what about Mike uh Mike Pennis from Washington? What about? Oh, Penix. Penix. But, I'm going to tell you, they would yeah, do some corny shit. They speed. would do J.J. McCarthy or some lame <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. I don't think that would yeah. be corny. He from Tampa, too. He from Tampa? I did not know that. J.J. McCarthy? Nah, Mike. Penix? Yeah. Penix. I like oh, young wow. boy game, though, yeah, bro. Nice. I like, I like young that. boy game. And he thorough as shit. Every he time I see him, he got to do that. He was at Indiana when we was up here. Was he really? Yeah. He transferred. He transferred over there. He did his last two years, I think, at Washington. No, nah, right. But I ain't going to lie. I'm going to really hate, though, if they do like the ceremonial shit, like, the special cover and all that. No, you got to do that. You got to do that. Yeah. You no. Do that. That's the money, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, you can't get mad at that. Like, when they drop the, the video game and then they do the Jordan edit or the LeBron version for the for the $100 version of 2K, you get 180000 VC if you buy <laughs> the Kobe the version. Yeah, I mean, like, but to me, that. that's just money. And I'm going to spend that shit. I'm going to buy that shit. So I ain't even <laughs> trying to. No, I don't even care. I always get the extra yeah, VC. Yeah, I always get And I'm getting highest. VC on top of that. And I'm still going to Ronnie to fix our shit. So now what? Yeah, that's bad. Now I just got VC. Now I'm rich on on 2K now for no reason. Yeah, I'd be like that for like two months. <laughs> I, I got, got 500 VC. I got 500,000 VC that I'm not be, spending. I still be pacing it. I still be, I be like, Should I buy the chain? <laughs> or should I buy the next bike? Season, next season, <laughs> you know you got every, every dollar. Next season, next season. Let me get a few games. Man. Let me get a few games. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna, yeah. They gonna have an NIL deal. Nah, right if, 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 you, if you're doing this past year, it's gotta be Caleb. Who won the Heisman this past year? Uh... It was LSU. Finished? LSU quarterback. LSU. Yeah, oh, Jaden Daniels. Daniels. Ooh. I don't like Jaden. I don't like Jaden. It's got to be Caleb. I, I, be if Caleb. you had to do it, it Caleb. had to be Caleb. Mm. And that USC on the cover is just iconic. Uh, I would love that. Uh, I hate uh, the idea of a coach being on there. Though. Like, I hate that. Nah, like, I'm, I'm against that 100%. Coach. Don't put no damn coach. Yeah, don't in. put no like, coach. Like, that's like putting your fucking parent. Like, I don't want, nobody wants to see that. They, he's in charge. I don't want to see that. So, you ain't like when John Madden was on the case? 
That was Andre. John Madden passed away. Like, yo, he used to be on the front cover of the game anyway. Yeah, he was on the front. Well, it was his game. Yeah, it's, it's called game. Madden. If you call, I'm saying, you know, if I create, if I create a, a Franklin Experience, guess what? <laughs> but you still <laughs> bought it because it was lit. You're still gonna buy it. You saying that prime I'm being saying, on there, you wouldn't buy it. For I mean, the last cover, though, it, the man. last cover, though, Tim. The last cover, Tim. You want the damn coach to be on his journal. All these young boys. Let a young boy get paid. Prom been paid, been superstar. Them. Let somebody else get some shine. I think they'll do like a I think they'll probably do like a Heisman cover or something like that. Like all the players oh, who went out. That's corny. I don't want to be pick one. Like that, but they not one person the, the, that the is honor. not the world we live in. They do not I pick one. Shit. They do not <laughs> pick one, bro. Damn. They do not Friendly pick ass, one. That's bro. not the world we live in. <laughs> Yo, yeah, no, that's definitely crazy. Hey, bro. Definitely crazy. Hey, how you hey. how, how oh, you feel about the um about the OT rule joint where the people were oh, saying they yes, ain't know sir. about the OT joint. <laughs> Shit, the when OT. the clock was going down, I ain't know. I was like, oh, they if the OT hit, the right? Ball? If OT yeah. hit, right? Bro, I was talking to me. It was like six I'm seconds. Like, I'm like, bro, they ain't gonna stop the ball. But do it go to the next? Do you yeah, just transfer it just, it just to, the over to the next one? It would be just basically another quarter. But do you have to coin toss again? Nah. Nah, 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 because the ball's already As NFL play. players, I guess we all do yeah, not I, know. Yeah, I, 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 know that I was nervous, too. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just going to go out there and play. I've like, never really seen OT in, though. I've never seen that. So yeah. I was just like, bro, what, what the hell happened? Dude, then we we, the, we had OT in. We, uh, we, we ended tied. in a tie. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Houston? Yeah. We trash. Yeah. It was trash. Hey, break down was that the first game? Yeah, that was the first game. That's when I knew that seed was going to be terrible. We started We started the game off with We started the season off with a tie. Like we, it, and then we, we tied the celebrity game yesterday. What are we tied? <laughs> Yo, I feel I feel like you now, dog. Pick a winner. That's like, what I'm saying, bro. bro. All this equal opportunity. I ain't yeah. what the, Nah, the, the in the first game of the season as a tie is nasty. Yeah, I knew he was gonna suck after that. I was like, oh, this a bad sign. <laughs> it's bad. Like this a bad sign, bro. Like you know, it's just bad omens out there, bitch. First year. That is crazy. Zay, after, after you got your first pick, you knew you was him. No, I knew I was him when I got drafted. Ooh! Swear. I just needed it I just needed that? like somebody to actually let the other people know. You ain't answer. Yeah. Who was your favorite player that you'd have had? The Maybe. Tom Brady. Hey, the Tom Brady pick when I you didn't follow my block. Nah, <laughs> tell nah, him nah. that we fucking go to the pot. Tom pick. Brady pick I fell pot on the ground. Pick. It was Houston. When I was Houston. Yeah, that was you my first ever interception. That was, interception. One, that was I, in the end zone. Yeah, when yeah. I dove. Uh, I say my favorite play was Baltimore. Yes, the Atlanta joint. The yes, Atlanta yes, joint. Yeah, that was yes, five. Yes, yes, that was five. Definitely oh my Baltimore. god, that was one of the best plays five. I've yeah, ever seen, five. bro. Nah, and they yeah. took that shit away. Oh, some I, yo, I'm a prime like like believer of like sometimes as a referee, just stop hating, bro. Like sometimes, like oh, that shit might have been illegal, but it was lit. Like just let it slide. Like why? You, like the uh, even like the Kelsey play. Like bro, that shit od. Just let it happen. Why you? Trying to take this away over some corner. Bro, that technical. drive was like seven, eight minutes long. Yeah, they was like, they was on your last. Hella plays, yeah. and then I don't know how he fumbled, but uh, Julian got the punch yeah, out. Julian yeah, Julian punched on it the QB out. Run. Uh, Lamar Bro, I saw D. Leonard, and I I literally wanted to pause the game, just move him out of the way, and then I get it. But he was he, he like grabbed it so fast. I'm like, bro, I knew from that moment I was getting the ball. Like, oh yeah, I'm like, hey, hey, and he just. Said here, bro. But the ref was like that. I ain't gained full possession. Like bounced off my chest. I'm like. All right, cool, but then that's how they called it back. I still think it was the dumbest shit ever. But I didn't understand that too, cause like he threw it backwards. You caught. I ain't gonna hold you, but the start stop was was, was vicious. I mean, Bro, I, mean I, I was tired that whole drive until I got that ball. <laughs> oh no, I, wasn't tired I, no more. I could tell you wasn't tired when <laughs> the way your ass was running. I ain't gonna lie, me and Speed and talked about uh, running down Lamar this year, but bro, you had the out running t t t. Stutter stop, then the accelerate just to let everybody know. Like, yeah, I'm not getting caught. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think uh, he, he had no chance. Catching. That was a crazy <laughs> ass. And that was, fast, that was one of your touches. Yeah, you know, that was one of your. Yeah, how many touches you got right back. now? Really, real? <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, bro, why are your touchdowns get called back? You know, <laughs> Buffalo, Buffalo, my rookie year, <laughs> playoffs. <laughs> this shit always. Like 107 <laughs> yard pick six. That was, a, that, was a, that was a two point <laughs> play, though, wasn't it? Nah, it was right for the half. <laughs> I dropped it, bro. Mind you, I ain't played. My hand's frozen. I finally get in, I dove and caught the ball, and then I actually oh, dropped it. Oh, in the back right. Yeah, uh, and then that, and Kim was like, let's go. Bro, call I've been back. in the end zone a lot, bro. I had a pick six one. against the Jets. Hey, hey, I ain't going to hold you. Ground. I call back. Hold you. That Baltimore Damn. play is my favorite play, but now I actually got to remember, though. The Cleveland. That Cleveland kick return, <laughs> Cleveland. bro. You know that shit got should have got called back, though. What you was holding? Oh, my God. I was holding <laughs> that motherfucker, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, we had just we playing Cleveland on the road. What's this? Twenty twenty. Yeah, Philip was bro. our quarterback. COVID. Yeah, we coming out the half. Philip throw the pick six first play. We damn Uncle Phil like Uncle Phil stamped too. Uncle Phil one of them people he fuck up. You like damn, it's a bad day. Right. 
So we get the kick return. I got the backside five. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I I barely even touched dog. I I'm holding him, grabbing. I just let go at the right time. You know the speed. You know what I'm talking about. One of them. You get up. You look. No oh, me. <laughs> Ain't nobody throw that bitch, Bruh. bro. I see my dog. What you hit the stop? stop that stop. That yo. That start and go. Man. It ain't bro, feel real when I scored though. It was so quiet. That t- 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 pick up and I'm. Oh, oh my god. It was COVID, <laughs> bro. It wasn't nope. Nobody screamed. Like it was no fans. I'm just like quiet as shit. Cause we on the road and there's no fans. Cause it's COVID. I'm just like. Damn. I actually played better during COVID. Oh yeah. No fans. I, with no my fans. Shit, with my, no my, fans? Tra- my trash talk was superior during COVID. COVID was the only time. Where you could stand on your sideline and talk shit directly <laughs> to the other sideline, and they hear everything you said. I used to be out there wilding, like nah, from see, the sideline. I wasn't even playing. So you time. talked enough shit in the game for everybody. That's what I be trying to tell everybody. I, I ain't. I went out there talking because <laughs> any given moment, that. anything can happen right now. So I was like, nah. I live like it's all gonna happen my way every right. time. Yeah, I ain't never had every no beef time. on the on the field. Nah, I think about I, it. I probably got you in something one time, but don't even. Yeah, worry you about probably it. got in it. <laughs> And I probably like just let you like cook up. I know I got up out of there. No, every time, every time one of the corners make a play, I'm saying all the shit that I feel like they thinking, but they he can't, he can't get yo, you can't, you can't keep covering you all day. Yeah. He can't get open. He be that like starting up. the fire. Like you be been cool beef. with the receiver the whole yeah, game. They cool and shit. They he tackle him just a little tackle. He go, he go Z. Talk your shit, Zay. I ain't talking about shit. Like, <laughs> I ain't do nothing yet. But so, no, no, hold up. When Zay uh, hit Henry, one on one. Okay, but no, big I was turned. I was turned. I was turned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that's, like that's something that ain't nobody ever think I could do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but Zay, hey, so I, I, we definitely, I wanted to obviously get a little bit of your take on the Super Bowl. How did you feel about the Kelsey uh, uh, sideline sideline situation mm-hmm. with Coach with Coach Reed? Uh Man, I ain't gonna lie. I just watched uh, something on the internet about that. They say that's just him. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't respect it. He even sp- spoke about it on his pod saying that he shouldn't have got that far. But end of the day, this is the last game. Yeah. Like, I know what he, you know, we players, so we know how he feel. Like, man, don't take me out of the game, bro. But, yeah. And I've been in his shoes before. Like, I don't want to get out. I'm hot right now. Like, you know what I'm trying, I'm trying to, you know, get right. It's the last going, game of the yeah. season. I'm going all in. So yep. I get why he was feeling that way, but, you know, even. Putting contact on a coach, I, I I would never do nothing like that. Though. Yeah, uh, I, 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 my only thing about that is too like I, sideline antics. I sometimes I feel like any up. One thing I will say though, and it's something that I peeped like this year, and then now that I really realize it. Like looking back and like all the mic'd up because at the Super Bowl everybody's mic'd up. There's right. kind of cameras everywhere. Everybody's got your reactions. I feel like in the Super Bowl, because it is the last game of the season, mm-hmm. that's the only time where it's, like, acceptable to, like, to really get your shit off on yeah, the sideline. it's the last game. It's the last game. Motherfuckers be, yo, offense, get a first down. Uh, okay. <laughs> Everybody going home after this game. Yeah, you know, this it. Like, you know during the year, like, week eight, <laughs> fucking four, three and outs in a row and shit. You got to be most Mr. Buck. Come on, Big Q. Hey, <laughs> JT, JT, I'm giving this shit right back. JT, come on, bro. Hey, hey, I get hey y'all, like, you get the being you get positive. positive. You, you just turn the motherfucker when they run off field. <laughs> <laughs> Speed's got, but look at this nigga, though. Look at this nigga, though. Speed, speed. Speed leaving niggas hanging. Yo. They try to give him that, but <laughs> you, I'm, I'm out there trying to encourage. Come on, Q. Come on, hey, we going to get it. I ain't even mad. I'm really mad because I got to go punt. <laughs> why? Oh, t- no, gee, that's real shit. Because why, why, why y'all didn't get at least to the 50 where we had to come? <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, you gave me this long. Now I got to run. And they doubling me. Now I got to go yeah. right to defense. Like, so Speed, hold on. You would have pulled that, that same situation on Andy Reid? You would have did Nah, I ain't yelling at my coach like that. Bro, all I'm going to say that is. Don't, you don't get nothing out of that. I don't think I get nothing out of that. Like, it's yeah. only bad coming from that. Like, my emotions ain't that heavy. I can control my emotions to where I ain't even got to go. Anybody else done that, though, they would I can come done. holler. Yeah. It's Kelsey, though, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, saying, no, you, I feel like you, him and his coach got a relationship to where he can do that. Not everybody yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. do that, though. Only Kelsey. I, I, that's what I think like, a lot of it is, though. I think it's just that relationship that you got with a coach. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just speak. Like, me and my linebacker, Coach Smith, like, we got a great relationship on the sideline. So, like. I think he know some of my but he know like I know like I know how far to go and he know how far to go sometimes too like whether I'm messing up where I'm playing good whether but sometimes like and it's something that you know me and him talked about I think me and Speedy I honestly had a conversation with him after the game it's like he didn't told us like look bro like y'all the top competitors in the world like this right. is how y'all got here so like sometimes like the raw emotion of a situation and like you coming off the field and you just kind of being present in that motion. Sometimes that shit spill over like a little bit, like you know what I mean. I think you know all the real ones at least, and I don't know if they had it mic'd up. You know, obviously they only gonna show the bullshit, but 
you know, I don't know if he probably came to Andy, you know, a little later. It, it ain't probably ain't have to be a hug out, but probably just tap Andy on the side. Yo, my fault, Coach. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. I didn't mean that, but he just geeked up. It's the Super Bowl. He turned up in the second half. He had no targets the whole first half. Mm-hmm. This, in my opinion, I think Kelsey on his way to being the best tight end. He is. He you is. think he is the best? No, he's on the on way. way. On the way. On the yeah, way. You say he's on the way? He's yeah. the best tight end in our game right now? History. He's going to go down as one of the best in history. Who who would you say was your best? Because I actually asked the opinion of one of the best tight ends in history this last week. Matt, last week. Do you have a top three, top five? Do you have a? I was a Gronk fan, bro. Are you really? I was. So you think Gronk's the best of all time? No. I don't know. I don't know who I would say is my best. I'm, I'm going to have to go Kelsey because Kelsey just – I just know what Kelsey's gonna keep right going. Now. I yeah. would just, I would just say, just to help. And everybody he got out, the rings to prove it because everybody bring up the rings. I would just say that in the conversation, the only people that I would feel like is even reasonable to be in the convo, you got Kelsey, you got Gronk, you got to throw Antonio Gates in there, you got to throw Antonio Gonzalez in Jason there. Jason Witten. No. Antonio Gates got rings. No, but they gonna, they gonna talk about rings. that. He played for seventeen years though, bro. Yeah. Him and Phillip put together some shit. Yeah, I mean, I, Phillip I just, gonna go down as one of the best too, but Phil yeah, shit, Phillip. So. They gonna bring up the rings. the rings, right? Tony what? Gonzalez got a ring though, right? Nah, no, nah, he, nah, he don't. He, he don't. one of the greatest too, but Kelsey I got, got Tony, rings. I got I got, but rings. But the rings ain't got nothing to do. I don't, with the I don't player, bring up the rings in conversation. So but you I put do. Shannon Sharp, Shannon in that Shannon in that combo, Shannon Shannon in that combo for sure, for sure. Shannon in that combo for sure. I think Jason Witten is, but I guess not. Jason Witten, I respectfully nah though. I hear you. I do hear you speed, but I'm like, ah. Blocking to receiving? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I do mean, hear you, though. As I, hear a, you I grew up in Philly. I watched Jason Witten cook the Eagles for a long, yeah. long, long time. So Kelsey's just I got different than everybody him. you mentioned, bro. Kelsey's Well, the tight ends, the tight end game, I think it changed. Well, Shannon Sharp was a dying breed at his time. <laughs> he was the only tight end that can stretch the field just that vertically. Was elusive. He was like, elusive. Yeah, like yeah, crazy. Was tight now you got Najoku doing it. Now you got Travis. You got right. Kittle. All of them doing it now. Like yeah. Dawson Knox, like everybody. Love Dawson Knox. <laughs> Shout out my boy Bobby. That's my body. <laughs> hey, my Zay, my dog, your, dog is my dog. You feel to, what I'm saying? To your point about, um, obviously, you know, just that Andy and Kelsey situation, bro. I was, it wasn't more so about the passion that I, I, I wasn't questioning about with Kelsey, but it was more so like, not Andy, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, it's, we only really got a couple of, and from, my time watching the league and, and you know just playing in NFL things of that nature, I haven't heard a lot of bullshit around Andy Reid's name. Yeah, everybody mm-hmm. loves Andy. Yeah. So it's like, dog, like if anybody that you did that to, bro, keep him polished, dog. Right. You feel me? Like it ain't gonna tarnish you at all to go and throw a fuck your th- throw your helmet on down on the bench and be upset. You ain't gotta come to Andy like yeah, that. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I respect that. I respect that. That was that was my problem. But it wasn't about how your energy was. It was more so like, dog, like, nigga, this Andy Reid. I am gonna say this: some of the best coaches are able, are like, are are guys that you can actually do that to. Yes, yes. Some of the best coaches. The worst coaches are the ones that people wouldn't even dare. Yes. Because it's like. They're going to get in their feelings. Yeah, they're going to get in their yep. feelings. And see, they just see gonna... it's deeper than something else. Like, I don't think at that moment Kelsey was challenging Andy as a man. No. I don't, I don't think. I also think they got that type of relationship. Like, Kelsey wasn't going to put his hands on him right. about nothing. Like, it wasn't. He wasn't threatening him. I think it, he was passionately letting him know what the fuck was going on. Now, I get it. You know, Kelsey got pads on. He's 6'5", 6'4", already. You towering over another man, yelling at him in his ear. I get that. Yeah. But again, these are Kelsey's one of the best competitors on the planet. Okay. And I think one thing you got to understand too, bro, that was a legacy game for them boys, bro. For like, sure. For, it, it was a lot on the line, legacy wise. Like you said, for like that win puts Kelsey in another conversation. For sure. That yeah. win puts Mahomes in the conversation. Hey, guess what? That win Mahomes, put Andy. Mahomes is the conversation, bro. You think they got a dynasty going Man, on? What? Is we caught up in another Ooh. nigga era, bro? I've been thinking about that the whole time. Bro, when Tyreek left, what, what the conversation was? Oh, they not going to win no more? I didn't say that, but... That's what that's yeah, what I the world never, was saying. I didn't really believe that, but... I, but I understood where people was coming from, but... And I mean, it's a plug and play still with winning. Patty. It's a plug and play with Patty. I mean, we beat, sure. we beat Pat Mahomes last time. No, we, 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 have, we have, we have, we have. But, yeah. damn it, you feel like you feel like this is a Mahomes era, like, like Jordan, and that's what, that's what the combo he in now. They talking Mayweather, they talking... Jordan, they talking Braun, like that's where they that's where he at now. I just feel like when Brady was winning, everybody was hating on Brady for winning, then they wanted Mahomes to take him out. Mahomes did it. Now everybody whoa, hating on Mahomes. Whoa, 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 Tom Brady beat him. Whoa, 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 yeah, he whoa. did, but Tom Brady retired. Yeah. No, he came back one more year after that. Yeah, and, and lost. And skunked it. And skunked it. 
But you should have left, left on that note. Bro, hold on. This is what it's I was easy. talking about. It's revisionist easy. history. Do we remember the game that he lost? Which one? Super Bowl? No, the playoff game that he lost. Do we remember that game? Brady won? No, no. Yeah, Brady lost uh, when they lost Cowboys? at home. No, they lost at home to the Rams, who won the Super Bowl. Do y'all remember that game? Oh, so you talking about that one. I'm talking y'all about when he lost. I'm talking about no. when he lost to Dallas. Who? Brady. Brady. When, he, when did he lose to Dallas? At home. Not in the playoffs. He ain't lose. He ain't lose first uh-huh. round in the playoffs. No, Dallas ain't got to play. He lost first round. No, he lost. Ain't. He lost first round to L. A. Yeah. in twenty one when they went to the Super and then Bowl. He retired. And L. A. Let's remember, L. A. was up. I think twenty points. At so some point, when, he when, came back. When T. Y. was on Dallas, they ain't go down there. They ain't go to Tampa. Y'all Brady, might have Brady, that Brady, one up. Brady wasn't on that team. His last game was against uh, the Rams. The, Rams yeah. the year that they oh, the no, Rams won the Super Bowl. Oh, maybe I'm they was in. They was in. I thought Xavier Rose was over there too in Dallas. He X might have been in yeah, Dallas, but there. they didn't. They didn't yeah, play. He was there. They didn't Brady. play. They, they didn't play Brady. No. I think Brady was gone by that then. year. Oh. That year, uh, Dallas lost to San Fran hmm. at home. Okay, I thought they. Beat, was I Zeke, thought they beat Tampa the, the week they, before uh, that because because then, the then LA because then LA beat San Fran. Okay. Wait. So what? I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to make sure we, I'm getting to your point about Brady. Brady's last show. game. Brady's last game. They played in L.A. Yeah. against Matthew Stafford, that L.A. team with Odell, the team that eventually won the Super Bowl. Right. They were down 20 or something points, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Brady did it again and came back. And the, they lost because on like third and 15. All out blitz, right? Yeah, top ball was in Tampa. cover zero. They yeah. played in Tampa. They cover in Tampa. zero. And, uh, and Matthew Stafford threw a fucking perfect yeah, ball cool. bomb to Cooper Cup. And won it, and everybody in the world said, Phew, all right, man. We finally killed the big bag witch in the West. Right, everybody right. was like, oh, Hold on. Finally, finally. That's how everybody reacted. Everybody can have all this revisionist history that they want. If Brady beat that LA team, which he almost did, if he would have got the ball back, he would have won. He would probably have another ring, bro. Yeah, that's revisionist history, bro. I, hate I don't like when that. You do that bro. That's revisionist history, bro. I hate what when do, you do, do I do? What do I, what do I do other than I speak the that, truth, bro? bro. The power say. and put that no. shit on when I'm on the red carpet. You Stop. That's all I do. Hey, bro. I, like. I hate when you do that, bro. Like, bro, is Tom Brady a a a a a? I'm well, is he B uh, nigga? Is he that person <laughs> out there? I'm just saying, like, is he that person out there? On the field, that is undeniable, bro. Yes. 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 But that time and that game on that situation, he fucking lost. So with you giving me the hypothetical of him potentially winning this shit don't mean nothing, bro. Right. He lost. No, this is what I'm trying to explain to you. I'm saying that everybody can sit here and say like, oh, he there was no drop off. He didn't have his uh, two years in, 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 at the Wizards. You know, looking like a shell of himself. He didn't have. I hear that. Uh, he didn't have the uh, Bernard Hopkins getting knocked out the ring the in his Jordan damn Wizards year. Yeah, he didn't, I he didn't that. have okay. the. Okay. Oh, no, he led the NFL in passing. Okay. In every statistic possible. I give you that. He won a playoff game. I just looked up. He won the playoff game at home versus the Eagles. Right. Young Jalen Hurts. Then he went and played LA in the division round. They ended up losing by three, but. They look. He. I'm telling you. I'm saying like people acting like Brady went out like on some corny oh, some shit. No, he yeah, still yeah. was yeah, very yeah. much at the yeah. very, very top of his game. Very much at the very top of the league, and it was a relief to everybody when he left. Now everybody acting like you feel me. It's just he is like you know what I mean. Nah, I look. I and I agree with you because he he did he went out on this shield on his shield for sure. He yeah. went out on this shield for sure. All I'm saying is is that is to Zay's point like. It is. It might be Patty time, bro. As the number yeah. one, it's Patty. It's Patty time, bro. It is. They got a dynasty over there. Who number one? I'm asking you. Is that a, is the KC? That's what they saying. They saying they got a. Dynasty. I don't. I won't say they got one. I say they they building one. They got potential. They no. I'm telling you the word around. They saying if you win uh, two championships back to back, back to back, or what they got, they uh, got three, three in the last four yeah. years. Yeah, that's a dynasty. They saying that that's a, that's that's considered a dynasty. Like when you look back twenty years from now, you're gonna be like, oh, that was the Kansas. Yeah, City Yeah, nobody dynasty. gonna forget what KC doing right yeah. now. Yeah, and he did it in such a short time. Yeah, nobody forgetting this shit. And he they still, said, he still like young. We just yeah, we about the same age. Yeah, but I'm young too. <laughs> Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm, uh, I just, I, you know, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like when get, when they get to talking about like Patty Mahomes and them in the dynasty, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I agree. But 
I just refuse to be like Charles Barkley or uh, <laughs> uh, Dominique Wilkins. I refuse to be the the, the people that's just. Uh, I refuse to just be the people that's just caught up in, you know, in somebody hyper, else's area, yeah, era, yeah. and it's just like, oh, yeah, man, I was never able to achieve what I wanted to achieve because of, uh, you know, whatever the hell, but... You on your Isaiah Thomas, huh? That's what I want. That's who I want to be. That's who I want to be. I ain't gonna oh, lie, yeah, but, but, but at the Fuck same time... That nigga like hey, that. Hey, what's up, baby? First of all, and back outside. Nah. Y'all back, I'm back on that. GVO. And back on GVO. GVO. And I'm back on that right IG. Huh? Doing the, doing so who the, the, who the, who the, who the, who the, a this generation, which quarterback, oh. which quarterback is, everybody. is Tom Brady, <laughs> Peyton Manning? They just like, want somebody on their side. Like, like, a, like when they game come on, the world want to see it? We already know what's who Tom is. What's the matchup? But that matchup, you know how Tom Brady and Peyton Manning, like, everybody stop what they doing. I don't care what time they play. Mahomes versus... Burrow. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Zay, Zay, Burrow. Zay, 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 hold on, let me just say this for everybody. Oh, my let God, Let me just say this for everybody. Bro. Isaiah's a member. Let me a just member. start there, bro. Who next you know, on like the show? Family, you know, like, <laughs> 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 why, why the boys just don't know what up? Tim don't want to give me credit when I put the shit on. Speedy don't want to give me credit when I'm like, what I'm going to do, man? What I'm going to do? Hey, So, why is it not Josh Allen? Because he ain't beat him. Yeah, Can't he Bur- Burrow, Why is it not Josh Allen? Burrow the, the <laughs> closest thing to beating Mahomes, bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So Josh ooh. Allen not the Slayer? Mm-mm. No, not yet. Wait, yeah, I don't think I don't think so, bro. All Mahomes right. got him out now. When Burrow and and Chase. Mahomes play, you don't know what's about to happen. Got, hey, you heard the man. I got, I got, I got, I got to lose three times. <laughs> who next on the show? What, what you say? Who the next guest? That's what you say? We gonna figure it out. That's 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 Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Get, get Diggs on here. Look, get Diggs on. Josh Allen. He's Josh Allen. Right, <laughs> Allen. No, we got, we got. Some, I ain't gonna lie though. So that's we, always, we, be, we always go back and forth about the quarterbacks. They was asking like, who do you feel like are like, if if uh, Pat is the equivalent of Tom, right? Mm-hmm. Who do you feel like is that equivalent? Like you say, are you think Joe Burrow is that equivalent to, to Peyton? Where do you feel like the rest of that kind of falls in? You feel like it's kind of tears. You feel like Joe Burrow's in a. You feel like Joe Burrow's. He got. He got. I feel like. Wait till yeah. I feel like Burrow is the Peyton, and I feel like Josh but Allen like Philip Rivers. Here, bro. It yeah. is because he just beat Patty. The, the one, the one no, that just keep running into. Yeah, just in there. No, no, like, no, in the no, mix. no, no, no. Where Lamar no, falling at? Lamar is the Philip. Yeah. Damn. What? No, no. We ain't gonna do that. But. Nah. Lamar's a Philip. I don't know. But that art, look, Lamar now, let, me, Phillip, let, me say, let me let me say this. this, this Lamar his own this, world. This is, this is my argument to them bro, though, to, about this topic though. <laughs> I personally feel like it's just I think it's more quarterbacks than it was back. Speed then. might be on to something. What do you say? Burrow Eli. Burrow Eli, bro. Because he beating him. He can beat him. Burrow Eli. Josh Allen is paid. I think that's too. No, and, and the reason I'm gonna say Josh Allen because they're not in the same conference. Yeah, yeah, Eli, yeah, Eli, Eli, Eli wasn't in the same conference. That's what yeah, but then again, like the only reason. Only reason Josh Allen not making it to the dance is because he has to go against them two. Yes, the Payton and the Brady. So he the Phillip Rivers. <laughs> That's crazy. He bright. That's yeah, true. nah, for sure. But hey, that hold on, sense. Lamar hold his on. own world. Though. Let me hold on. Let me let me, let me make sure that I'm giving the credit where it's due because I think it was her here first, and the world just isn't gonna see it that way, which is fine. Z did predict that the run that Patty just made. Might put you over the top, bro. Because yes. the quarterbacks that he went through, bro. Yes. Oh yeah, that's yes. what I'm saying. Well, yeah. that, but the, but that, that's the only reason why I'm kind of like when they talking dynasty, they talking era. I'm like, all right, you gotta respect, give respect, when respect is due. Like to go and beat that Miami team. I get it was snowing, but look, they played in this cold weather too. You beat that Miami, that Miami team. You got speed all season. I, I, well, I just knew what our strength and weaknesses yeah. was, but I, I'm like that Miami team, especially with Waddle. Tyreek Mostert, yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they still got Jacecki, right? Or not Jacecki in uh, New England, but Tua. They, they still they still got yeah they still got a great yeah. pop power that's offense, a fast-ass team, great bro. defense. I'm like man, that's a tough that's a tough matchup for a lot of people to beat them like way they did. The comeback on the road, beat Josh Allen in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. They've been waiting for that game for three years. I thought Josh beat, had him, bro. Beat them, then to come back and beat Baltimore on the road. That was the best Baltimore team. Yeah, that defense. Damn, was ever. That was a generational defense, bro. Yeah. yeah. That Baltimore team wasn't better than Buffalo. They Well, they, the Kansas City said that Baltimore was the best team they played. Okay. Then to go to the Super Bowl and beat that San Fran team, which again, like with McCaffrey, Kittle, Debo, uh, Ayuk, Fred, uh, Bosa, 
like playmakers, all, all pro, like that San Bro, Fran Purdy team is alone. Yeah, Bro, Purdy, Purdy like that, that San Fran team is is never nothing to slouch at either. Yeah. Shanahan, great coaches. Yeah, and you beat them like Bro, that them Infinity Stones. Yeah. They bling it right now, bro. They bling it right now. That was a tough job. Yeah. But Anthony back outside. So now what? I ain't back, my young boy TV back on. I ain't playing with y'all. I ain't playing by none of that. We ain't talking about whatever, whatever name no more, bro, either. Because I hope you understand this pressure for, from yeah. now on. God was cool with you when I bumped into you at the joint. We dabbed it up. Whoopie, whoop, you a child of God, all that. You know what I mean? That's my man, man. Dog. What do you say? My man's man. That's my man. So you my man's man. So I understand you ain't my man. You know what I'm saying? That's so I'm going to leave it at that. We ain't even. He, he who should not be named. That boy Baltimore. He man. who should not <laughs> be not be named. All right. We're going to let you go, Zay, soon, bro. I got one more question. Uh oh. So. Um, obviously you, you I mean, you, I mean, first of all, I, I would like to talk about your relationship with destroying, obviously. I, I oh, yeah, saw that boy way. outside. Yeah. Yeah. He, I saw him at the commissioner, uh, uh, dinner. He, he outside in the mix. Love what he doing. He signed to a USFL yeah, or just, XFL. Yeah, he signed, yeah, he signed uh, probably like two weeks ago. That's crazy. I don't, y'all know destroying. He, uh, mm -hmm. went viral, obviously huge, huge platform. Y'all grew up together? Nah, we ended up connecting like right after I got drafted because I knew his cameraman at the time. Oh, okay. And so we just connected and then we just... You know, we are Florida boys, so we just connected. From he from there. Tampa too? Nah, nah, nah. He from like on the outskirts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but shout out to the story. I already know you always had your platform. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I and Zay, look, we know you have fun. You feel me? We we you yeah. silly you dance and all that stuff. But we talked a little bit about just I guess being responsible with your platform. Yeah. So we was talking a little bit about like Club Shay Shay and I don't, you know, you probably seen all the stuff with like Cat Williams and and it was just kind of like, bro, like. My thing was a few weeks ago, like, obviously, we respect Shane. Like we said, when we talking top tight ends and ever, we as athletes and fans of the game, we respect Shannon as a player. Yeah. Obviously, we love him as an analyst on TV, but For sure, that's a new world. That's a new avenue that he's creating and he's doing his thing. But being responsible with that platform, bro, like, you know, when it happened, when the first Cat Williams thing came out, as much as, you know, it was, you know, popular and it blew up, but like, I'm like, damn, are we creating that avenue pretty much to just shit on our other right. peers? You know what I mean? Right. Like, we go up here, we talk shit. Yeah, we pop out shit at a lot of people, but at the end of the day, we respect everybody game and craft. And I like, me and Tim argue off mic about a bunch of shit. We got, <laughs> Yo, we, have we got some shit that we, we, we really <laughs> need to get talk. into, but we ain't going to do it because I don't even want to do that to dog. But it's at the same time, it's just, we use your platform responsibly. We was talking about just kind of how like Shay Shay kind of becoming like, that hate platform now. Like, motherfuckers just kind of getting up the, there. The just, snitching couch. Yeah, yeah, you get on there just to rat on people and it's just kind of like... Jerry Springer podcast. Yeah, so like, I don't know. How you feel about, like, obviously you have a big platform. How you feel about, like, I don't know, just him just kind of, especially as people growing and making podcasts and stuff like that, how important you feel like it is to kind of filter uh, that space? Uh, I don't know, bro. I, I stay away from it. Like, I seen the interviews and stuff like that, but everybody knew once Cat did it, mm -hmm. they all gonna start rolling in just talking crazy but I don't know I don't respect that at the end of the day the people actually decide to go in there and speak on what they want to speak about you know what I'm saying and like y'all said we talk about a lot up here but y'all never sat up here and like down somebody like oh he's he's not good at all I don't know why he didn't leave y'all ain't never done that before but y'all can y'all got opportunity but y'all not so I think I respect more the podcast is like just keep it you know blunt and keep it real but not to the extent where you like airing somebody out so that that's not a comp like how Cat was trying to say like this is a competitive nature thing like you know what I mean? I feel like Cat been waiting on that moment though because he had a lot to build say up. Yes, yeah. I think it, it stemmed from from others coming on before him though. It definitely did. It, 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 it definitely it. triggered him mm -hmm. because it, in his interview he never really bluntly was saying exactly yeah. what people just put two and two together. So do you think like based on the podcast and Z hate that it's a Z said that he hate that it's like black. Like, as black people, we created a platform that don't come and turn, like, other black superstars down or mm -hmm. whatever like that. But I look at it in a space of they 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 doing great at, at acting. Like, they came up there and they and they they created, like, like like how, like, the Mike Epps and Shannon joint. Yeah. They was able to beef it out online, but then when they seen each other, they was able to dap it up and that be like, you know lame. what? That was, it's peace. That it's lame. peace. That's some great marketing, so I'm bro. Saying, that was lame. I ain't, I ain't like, I ain't like, I ain't so like that. Like that. That's how I'm looking at it now. Like, yeah. I ain't now. Now, why everybody getting on, getting into beefs, and then when they see each other, they cool? Is this the new wave? Because it ain't real beef, bro. Yeah. This the new wave of marketing. If it's real nah. beef, it, 
that nobody talking online. If it's real beef. That's what I'm saying. It's a new wave of marketing. So I think Kevin Williams is just going up there doing new marketing. And with Shannon Sharp, like, if he going to do the, the the whole podcast thing, you can't come up and tell people what to say. Yeah, that's right. right. They just want to use true. your platform. Like, All you right. know what I'm saying? So my, my only my only thing is with with <laughs> my rebuttal to that, Dylan, just with Shay, not more so with his guests, is that you don't, not to say that he has to ask them leading questions about things that he already knows they're going to talk about, mm-hmm. but I think for him, he never sets a precedent for what he believes could be potentially be the truth. He allows people to just come up there with your dirty laundry. He got drawers, he got socks, he got, bring it all here. Mm-hmm. But Shay doesn't, and I'm just talking about for his platform, not for their agenda. He lets people come in there and talk about their agenda the way they want to. Those are two different things. Because if I'm sitting down and I'm having a conversation with Zay right now, I'll be like, hey, bro, like, how X, Y, Z going? Like, all right, back there, that's cool. And then Zay just go and do 15 other things, and I don't say nothing. It's just like he's just coming up here and dropping his laundry off. Right. You can't do that, bro. Like, well, I don't feel like you should be able to do that all, well, all the time. Well, you shouldn't be able to tell somebody what they can and can't talk about. But my only thing is, like, this is my only thing is, if we get up here, like, and I, and I ain't gonna lie, after you said it, it made me really realize, like, all right, you can't control what somebody come up here and say. Like, you got, you only giving them, like you said, the space and opportunity to speak on what they want to speak on. Like, prime example, like, Zay, no, we love him. Like, I, we would want him to come and be able to speak on the situation that he had went through in a, in an environment that was comfortable for him. You want to create right. that environment, right? Mm-hmm. However, at the same time, it would be irresponsible of us for the, to allow Zay or anybody else to come up here and say things and not offer any pushback on just accusations or, uh, you know, different just things that you putting out in the universe, knowing that that this conversation is going to lead his room to millions. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then at a certain point, like, the same way we want to protect our narratives, Zay's narratives, the trenches narrative, bro, be conscious that you pushing narratives about other people that you're talking about on this joint. Right. Mm-hmm. And, like, now it's starting to turn into, like, Come up here and say some shit about Kevin Hart and then go viral. That's corny. All for y'all to go on tour together. Yeah. But then Kevin Hart can come back on the show and say whatever he So now say. Kevin Hart is supposed to go on stage. <laughs> Damn, but this is a revolving door. That's you see, crazy. Exactly. You see how oh Shannon Sharp? That like everybody snitching. That, 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 yeah, but, that's, but I ain't going to lie. Look, this is the last joint we're going to get into, bro. This is the last joint we're going to get to. It's just shit just be getting nasty. Because like, bro, what's what's that old lineman name? Let me. I got. I got to pull that shit up, bro. Yeah, that yeah, whole that whole Jalen the... Carter situation. Really? Did you see the Did you see the situation? Nah, uh, Zay? Yeah, I, I you ain't see, see it. it. So this kid, so this dude, Jonathan Feliciano, <laughs> your old lineman for. Uh, the I Sanford. ain't bush that. That's cold. Huh? I would have bushed that. Got it. <laughs> I don't know if you know this about me. You know, I took Feliciano. Spanish for you. Yeah, you know I mean, back in there. I think that's like a. It might be Italian. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oh, are you talking to me? Yeah, you cut it off. Niggas hate with Tommy DeVito one day. Are you, are you talking hey, we gotta to me? For one day. Know what are that you mean? talking to me? But look, long story short, long story for the old lineman for the 49ers, right? After the game, uh, fans go in there. You know how fans get. Oh, yeah. Go in there about the loss and shit. I, it was a one play. It looked like they had a short touchdown, but nobody blocked Chris Jones. How the fuck you don't block Chris Jones? It's crazy. But shit like that be happening, to be mm-hmm. honest with you, in the game. They killing him. He... Well, if my teammate would have, I don't know what specifically was said, but he basically said if the other O lineman would have helped him out, he wouldn't have had to use certain technique, which was crazy. I wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> exactly. Teammate gets online like, damn, bro. All right, cool. Appreciate it. All right, it's cool, though. He get on there. Ah, sorry, bro. I was in my feelings. I was being a bitch. <laughs> like, nah, 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 nah. He said he was drunk. Hey, he blamed he it on you, the act. You let that shit step out about your mouth. You can't press rewind. That's, that's the baby said that. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's just like, all right, cool. He like, I was being a bitch. Ooh. Then, you know, what followed from that is what always. You know what I mean? Now everybody on social media killing dog. Oh, mm-hmm. look at him. Threw a teammate under the bus. Woo do whoop. You know how that get. Yeah. Couple people get, they see somebody they don't like going down. They get the, yeah, well, you know, he said this to me or he been this guy. Woo whoop. Jalen Carter, young boy, uh, fell in the draft because he had a situation in Georgia with the race and da 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 He come out, yeah, he said something about my dear friend when we was playing. That's why I was emotional. I don't know if everybody remember. Jalen was crying at the game uh, when they played in San Fran. Obviously, Philly lost bad, but yeah. everybody was wondering why. They, they thought Jalen was just being emotional about losing. He's saying he was emotional because of the stuff that they was. It was on-field battle. Now, I ain't going to hold you. I done went to war with, especially the old linemen, bro. 
You go to war with these old linemen, shit, shit get a little treacherous. And it's the trenches, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't in it. Right. Dog says, stops. Whoa, well, Jalen threatened to kill my family. He uh, said I wasn't gonna go home to my kids. It's on the field? I was... This no, he's yeah, tweeting this. Tweeting. Oh man, nah, yeah, I would. I would They're tweeting this. This is being tweeted like at the on social media, going back and forth. They quoting the big blogs. Well, no, Jalen told me on the field that he was going to kill my family. I wasn't going to go home. Da 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 da. Back and forth, everybody like, whoa. He was like, well, look, he, I said, he, look, he was already a part of one issue. I, I so I didn't doubt that he would catch a body. Whoa, what? Whoa. Nah, that's wow. That's wild. what. Wow. That's that's when your marketing team got to step in. But this say, is bro. what I'm saying, bro. And I'm not, and I, I, I'm not blaming Shay for this. Like I don't want this to, but it comes back to my original point. Why is hating cool though? Like, right. like why is why is being like first of all, straight up, gang. Like y'all niggas, San Fran and Philly got to get over that shit. Bro. Like <laughs> if y'all really don't like each other that much, all right. y'all niggas is rich. Rumble. I'm a, and guess what? I'm all y'all, all, all y'all are off of work. It's nothing but space, opportunity, and money out here <laughs> to rectify all these situations. We ain't got to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, y'all niggas need to move on. But at the same time, it's like, bro, as much as wild shit that I done said, has said to me, bro, to go on social media and give a play-by-play -play of the trash talk on the field, bro, we trash talking on the field, bro. Like, They probably got to tell that. Bro, game Dan too. Carter don't know where you from. Bro, first of all, he a rookie. Young boy probably didn't even read the scout report. Let's keep it G. He probably don't even really know your name, bro. Like, He's trying to get in his head. Yeah, all yeah. Jalen Carter know is swim, swim. Oh, I got a stunt here. Like, bro, Jalen Carter ain't on that. Like, yeah. so for you to sit here, you were scared you wasn't gonna go back to your family. Bro, what type of weird bullshit is you on putting like talking about painting narratives about like yeah. like that's weird shit. Like, it's just a lot of weird stuff going on, like now in like the league on social media. It's just like, bro, like. We just got to bring thoroughness back, bro, because it's being lost in translation at some point. Like, I ain't going to lie. I just saw that shit. That shit just moved me in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, bro, like, I, I hate they even had to speak on it. It's just kind of like, bro, like, y'all out here, first of all, you giving up play-by-play -play and talks and stuff that y'all had, conversations that y'all had on the field, not thorough. Second of all, you doing this and you perpetuating it and, and pulling That dude had a real legal situation, bro. Yeah. That you bringing back up. Like, come on, bro. It's money involved, bro. Like, let's stop doing that, man. Like, yeah. Yeah, you got a point on that one. No, no, man. That's, crazy. Just, that's just how I feel. Crazy. I, I ain't mean to end on such a song. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, it, it's something I feel like, like you said, you know, people, and I think Speed it, it talked about that in one of our earlier, earlier, earlier episodes is that we, or you guys are now very much in charge of um, your personality. You're able to speak now. You're able to do the things that mm -hmm. you need to do. So at that point, you have to be conscious of one, how you're even using that platform. How you're talking about work, how you're doing certain shit. So, I think it makes sense, bro. Like you gotta like understand, like it's variations. Was he serious? Were we competitive? Was it a joke? So, yeah. but our last last thing I know we about to, I know we about to yeah, sign off. Man, you have been a great guest, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I yes, feel like sir. we done had a whole nother pod with my dog. I don't know how the hell we gonna bring up this episode. Five hour pod <laughs> on the way. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Super Bowl, man. New Orleans, see me. Oh, man, we about to have another pot. Yes, sir. I'm trying to get you out of here. I'm trying to get you out. Of here. I really am. I'm here, bro. Because everybody keeps saying, and look, I'm not I'm looking at you because Speed about to get mad at me. Uh-oh. Everybody keeps saying they want Lil Wayne at halftime. I don't want to see that shit. Hey. I, I don't want to see that shit. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I love Weez. I Look, he one of the best rappers of all time, but I, do. I don't want to see him at halftime. Who you, who you want? Give me a singer. Like, I want to see. Oh, like, nah. uh, Give me a performer. Like, I don't think, like, I don't know if a rapper... Is great at halftime. I, I know that's some hate, and I know that's against. You want a lot somebody to dance and sing? You thought the Rams? Yeah, I want somebody to put on a show. You thought the Rams Rams halftime was ass? They had singing. They had singing. They had singing. That, that was a good point. But you had that. <laughs> that was different. Good. That was Dr. Dre. He's really producer. Mary and they Jay. had different. They had Mary J. Blige on stage. Oh well, Mary J. Don't dance. But it was five. yes, he do. Mary J. Does not dance. Tim, Tim, go Mary, go Mary. <laughs> Go, man. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. First of all, yeah. No, no, Mary, 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 Mary,
It is. To halftime before. Yeah, they got to run something back. Everybody already you went. Go, uh, like, Legends. I don't oh, know. Legends, yeah. I'm Beyonce not gonna done. Taylor Swift next. Yeah, yeah she probably gonna go next. Taylor Swift next. Taylor Swift. She probably. Yeah, next. we might as well just gear it up. Yeah, we might as well go just ahead. let that go. Just she understand. You know that girl it, don't know no seasoning though. She like she ain't never had the uh, if they, the shrimp po' boy with the little sriracha. Tickets, she ain't never had that, bro. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, it's a tickets gonna sell out. It's fast. a done deal for the halftime show, not even yeah. for the game. Taylor ain't never had the the uh, the, the uh, char grilled uh, oysters like that. You feel me? She ain't. That's too much taste buds for her. She don't know a season sorry. Mm mm. That's crazy. Look, Super Zay, old. Zay, man, loves you having. I wish I could have sent you off with some breezy. I know you're a breezy. My, <laughs> nah, my laptop good. died. I'm capped for that. But uh, lo- <laughs> hey, look, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, and I said, I talked to you too, bro. Just knowing the type of man you is, bro. Um, just knowing how much the game means to you. I know that you love the game. I know that you would never like intentionally violate it. Intentionally try to put your teammates uh in any type of jeopardy or yourself really any type of jeopardy. Um, it was tough to see you go through that. To be honest with you, like just oh, yeah. knowing that you was a good dude and. Like you said, it'd be hard, too, for us sometimes because it'd be like when you care about somebody and you see, like, because we see the shit, too. You know what I mean? Me and Speed talk about that shit all the time. Like, no negative energy on the timeline. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We seeing people saying certain shit about you, and I ain't going to lie. Look, man, would have loved to have you on us. Wish you were still with us. Real, for real. Right. But I know you're going to do great things in Philly, but I'm, I'm glad to see you back outside. I'm glad to see you back moving. Yeah, yeah. Looking Appreciate forward that. to this next, a- next act. I know it's going to be special. I know you've been saving that nigga. <laughs> They a year of rest. Them legs gonna be the, fresh. The cleats come back. Nah, you know yeah, what I'm ready, mean? bro. Just stay away from us. What's, what's, what's game one cleat idea? I ain't gonna lie, we already got the whole mock up for the year. So. Look, look, you see? Yeah, my boy. Yeah. For the year. Yeah, see? yeah we already ready. For game for yes, it. Yeah. I, I gotta catch up because now custom cleats the thing, bro. Yeah, when I was doing it, yeah, it was like yeah. barely people no, doing it. No now everybody doing it. Yeah, no, we know you're gonna be out there, sir. I used to get my, I ain't gonna lie, I used to get all my swag shit from uh from Zay, in terms of like the sleeves, the socks, and shit like that, he always said he he the plug. And he turned you up. Oh yeah, for sure. I give him that credit, hundred percent. Zay used to know. I'm like, damn, where you get that uh them socks from? He, bro, I will get you right. Matter of fact, don't worry about order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Zay used to plug. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Zay, right. yeah, that's my dog. That's good to know. Yeah, man, I give credit when credit's due. Unlike a couple motherfuckers around this joint. Yo, that's crazy. That's how we done. Hey, hey, thank you for tuning in to the episode of the pod, man. I look. Different send off this time, but thank you for Zay to pulling up. Hey. You'll catch us in next Friday. Shout out to the members out there. Yeah. Yo, yo. Appreciate like and subscribe, y'all. share. Yes, sir. Peace.